fellow gamers, welcome to the board game battle with Glory Hound and Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> it looks like we have people in chat today already. We have Battle Cry, Fatal Paper Cut, and Nathan. Hello, how is your Sunday going? Today we're going to be playing The Seventh Continent. I was say it's going pretty good. Fatal Paper Cut's in a hot air balloon right now. <laughs> That, that is very fancy. It is very, very fancy. I wish I could go. You know, I, have you ever gone to hot air balloon before? I've never done it. No, I've just helped, you know, propelled out of a helicopter and that's about it. That's like think, the only high thing I've done. I think that the hot air balloon is more fun. Yeah, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Is, hey, Kabuki. Is that how we got to the seventh continent today? Is by hot air balloon? Hot air balloon. I'm assuming, <laughs> yes. That is probably how we got here. And that's probably why we have like no gear. I'm assuming like <laughs> that it was like rocky and then we lost all of our shooter array, shooter array, fancy cheese plate. I'm sure we lost that. Fancy cheese plate. And uh, our wine's <laughs> gone. I'm sure I sure I would have brought rope, but I don't have rope now, so. You lost all of our stuff on the way to the seventh continent? You were in the balloon too. <laughs> you were in just charge. Me. You were in charge of all of the wine and cheese. Wait, I'm in charge? No, I'm just of the wine and cheese. I'm in charge? <laughs> Are you gonna be in charge of something? Hi, Kabuki kid. <laughs> <laughs> so we today we're going to be playing the seventh continent this is the base game that they're that serious pulp is putting out the classic that's right the classic edition because it was a kickstarter that did very very well mm -hmm. and then it hit the kickstarter black market and you were unable to find it like the kickstarter black market gets crazy dirty sometimes they're like five hundred dollars for this crazy game <laughs> True. <laughs> so I'm really happy that Serious Pulp is offering this to the public. Never mind that squeaking. It's totally part of the ambiance of the Seventh Continent. Mm. <laughs> but no, it's really good that everybody gets a chance to buy it because there's nothing, although I like Kickstarter stuff and I like being able to get it kind of quickly and first, I do eventually want other people to play it because otherwise you could have this amazing game that nobody can play or knows how to play or knows anything about. And that game just dies to a certain degree. And I don't necessarily like people taking advantage of people on that Kickstarter market. I can understand a yeah. small markup if you're getting all the Kickstarter exclusives and stuff. But other than that, like paying $500, $600 for a game is crazy. And the nice thing about the classic is it's like 60 bucks, I want to say. And is it really? Yeah, oh my it's, gosh. it's very inexpensive. It's like $60. I'm pretty sure it's pretty close to that, US dollars. And it is... The difference is just the components. Like you still have the same amount of cards and story, and you've got three curses in it. Um, just the components are different. So like these aren't miniatures. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because the other seventh kind of has like little tiny miniatures that are little tiny like the same size and stuff. Yeah, they're yeah. about the same size. And these do come with standees, everyone. But I took the standees off of them so you guys could see us on these cards a little bit better. Okay. So we could block the stuff like these majestic goals. <laughs> oh. No, these goals are bad. Like they're calling us names. What do you Never think we're going to eat? Never trust a seagull. There's no wine and cheese. Never trust a seagull. What do you seagull. think we're going to eat? <laughs> so let's see here. Nathan says, I'm interested in trying this one now that it is available to the masses. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm so excited that it's available to the masses, Nathan. And Kabuki says, I went all in on this game when it first came out and got Fair. the expansion stuff too, of course. There was a rare time when I went all in on the game. I didn't play first. Oh, yeah. Like, this one got so much hype and Everything I had heard about it was really good, you know? And if you guys haven't seen it, if everyone hasn't seen it, this is the box that it comes in. It's smaller than the other box, I feel like. I feel like it's a little bit more compact. Yeah. Well, because it's just the cards now, really. Absolutely. Everything's and flat in it, except for the die. It's all done with these little, like, all the rest of the components in here. We have the Kickstarter edition as well, so, like, as far as components-wise, the cards are all the same, like, as far as, like, same material. They didn't skimp on any of the components is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you just the lost, you just don't have the miniatures. Yeah, basically. the cardboard is thicker and stuff. You don't have any of like the Kickstarter exclusive stuff that they offered with it. But as far as just the base set and everything, they didn't change anything from that on it, okay? We're going to do our best to either A, not die, or die <laughs> within a couple hours. Because this thing can go long. Yes. I watched some of the other playthroughs um, and I was kind of looking at some of them in like five and a half hours for the first session stuff. I don't think we'll sit here for that long. Um, Be prepared to see our faces for a while. I do need to use the restroom every couple <laughs> hours, and I do like lunch, but uh, or dinner at this at this point. 
I don't and know if, if I can play till midnight tonight. Of course, if you guys have any questions or just want to talk to us, our chat is open. So leave us lots of comments and everything, and we'll talk back with you. All right? Let's see here. Oh, there you go. Kabuki doesn't even want the miniature, so we can do crazies. <laughs> and I can see what you're saying. Sometimes with miniatures, it's, when they're all gray and they're not painted, it actually is kind of hard to determine. And so sometimes you end up moving somebody else's miniature, unless there's something very dramatic, like one's got a halberd and one's got like an axe, or something that you can like really re easily identify. And the miniatures in this game, in the Kickstarter edition, are so tiny, because they are, they're very tiny. Uh, yeah, they're I like can the see same how size you, as this. Yeah, I can see how you would have that issue with it, okay? <laughs> Let's see here. So I'm going to read the starting portion of this. 1907, a renowned explorer. You have just come back from the first expedition on the seventh continent, a mysterious land that was recently discovered off the coast of Antarctica and probably the very last terra incognita in the world. You are rec recovering from your adventure when... Whilst reading the daily newspaper, you realize that several other members of the expedition have disappeared suddenly for unknown reasons. Coincidentally, you have been lethargic for a few days, feeling feverish and finding it difficult to get up from bed. A cold shiver runs down your spine, and you have to face the facts. An evil is consuming you from within. At nightfall, you fall into a restless sleep without knowing that, for you, this is only the beginning. I like to think you're the evil that consumes me. <laughs> Just going to say. Sometimes. Sometimes. So we are going to be playing the bloody hunt because we wanted to do something different. We have not played this at all, so we have no idea what we're going to run across. This is all a brand new adventure curse for us. We've never done this curse. So I will go ahead and give you the clue about the bloody hunt. You were sitting at your desk, poring over the notes from your recent expedition to the seventh continent hoping to find a clue about the nature of the evil that is slowly consuming you. <laughs> this expert from a report by Lester P., an ethnologist specialized in the rituals and myths of tribal societies, catches your attention. Akela, a legendary hunter responsible for keeping the world in balance by slaying the creatures that defile it, is a recurrent figure in the stories the natives tell. His totem is supposed to symbolize his earthly and heavenly power. Exhausted, you instantly fall asleep. When you wake, you hear the piercing cries of a few seagulls. They sound so strange as they were as they were laughing. <laughs> Told you those guys were mean. You try your best to understand. Where on earth are you? How did you end up in here? You can't you cannot seem to remember the image of the ritual totem. The image of the ritual totem is still vivid in your mind. But you have no idea why you're here. So that's creepy. So that's why we lost all of our cheese. We just like woke up here. <laughs> that's worse. It was from that rogue uh what is it? Hot air balloon accident. Yeah. Like you eat some bad cheese and you fall asleep that's... and you wake up and all of a sudden you're on the seventh continent. The balloon's gone. That's all what... your supplies are gone. Always happens whenever you have bad cheese, okay? That's true. <laughs> the monster bits are cool. Yeah, the character ones are the ones I find less functional, says Kabuki. I, I kind of agree with you. They are. They're just a little tiny. They're a little, on the little bit of the tiny side, okay? <laughs> all right, so our goal here is we want to get this totem. If we can see it, and we have five or more cards with the keyword trophy under our satchel and journal card, then we will take this other card, which I'm assuming means we win. But I don't know. We will do our best to get there. That's what we're looking for, that crazy-looking totem. I hope we find it. We'll see. Totem on. We'll see. Okay, oh, no. this goes into I mean, our little thousands satchel. of hours. I would be surprised if we just, like, f like fell across just it. fell quickly. into it the first time? I hope so. So I'm playing as Mary Kingsley at the age of 30. Mary went off alone exploring Africa in order to complete her late father's work through contact with the local tribes, some of which were cannibalistic. She learned jungle survival, canoeing, and discovered a new species of fish. Upon returning to her native England, she received an offer to join an expedition to a new and mysterious continent. She decided to postpone writing her memoirs to, as the lure of adventure always comes first. Word. Mary Kingsley here. I thought Mary seemed like the most like awesome looking female. I mean, yeah. And yeah. plus, on the side note, I mean, I know about all the cannibalistic like rituals and stuff, so I should be okay during this. If yeah, that's we, fine. If we don't have any food. And like Fatal says, that totem is putting off super good vibes, <laughs> so we should be fine. <laughs> Super positive. So is it not like the power animal? It's like my power totem or something? My power totem is super evil. <laughs> I should be called like Dimitri the Scarred. Because Dimitri has had a rough life. 
Dimitri is not too fond of talking about his past. Bro, you're not kidding. <laughs> Rumor has it that he escaped from the Peter and Paul fortress in St. Petersburg, where he was being held for anarchist activities and propaganda. Seems fair. He is thought to have joined the expedition as a security expert in order to leave his troubled past behind him. The scars that cover his body and the way he screams when he wakes up in the morning says more about what he went through and his ability to face danger than he ever would. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Alright, so we have to roleplay this. Ready? Alright, so let's, let's be sleeping. Ah! Oh my god, why are, you, why are you yelling? And then I just stone cold face you and be like, I'll never tell. And then it's just a standoff. <laughs> Anarchy in the UK and the seventh continent. I Are mean, you ready? <laughs> you ready to explore? I'm ready. I'm ready. And Nathan says, not in that direction. Well, there's only a few directions we can go in on the beginning here. Right? Yeah, so what <laughs> options do we have here? So we can go take a look over here. We can that's, look. There is something over here. That's Nathan's that's randomly useless advice. I love that. Okay. Yeah. So yes, we have the cliffs over here. And it looks like we have two directions that we can travel in here. So what, what do you want to do first? I say... We find the totem. Make a roll. Do we roll to find the totem? No. Okay. Do you want to look at the cliffs or go someplace? I want to go I, someplace. Oh, okay. So go ahead. Where do you want to go? I think. You like you're just gonna move, or you want to actually explore? Well, no, I want to like, explore one of oh, these. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I want to just like look in these areas. All right. I think I'll look up north here. Go so for I'm it. gonna flip this over here. I'm not going to look though. I'm like looking down and yeah. away. I don't want to be part of this. <laughs> you don't want to be part of this. No. What do you got? Well, it's good because cursed. Oh, sucker. Anxiety consumes you despite the cold temperature. You are sweating profusely and start to shake uncontrollably. It's probably because of those seagulls. Start shaking. They're like, oh, you're a jerk. Caw, caw. <laughs> caw, caw. Your mom wears army boots. Caw. So I must complete this. It has a two-star success. But I can flip over zero cards. But for two stars, I mean, that's... Not that's not a great start overall. And you're either going to be able to calm yourself, or after a long string struggle, you're going to regain composure, which seems like that's probably going to be bad stuff. Um, Good job. I am glad I did not participate. All right. Well, I think maybe I need two successes, maybe four cards. That's a lot of successes. I hate to do that so early in the game. At least three. What do you think, Doctor Glory Hog? Oh, I'm so bad at this. I hate this part. It makes me I don't so know. nervous. I feel like three is probably okay. Yeah, you're not I the one really getting cursed wanna, over here. Right, is what I it really is. don't want to go to four, though, <laughs> this early. Nathan, I would love to start burning things just immediately, just right out of the gate. That would be lovely. Three okay. cards. Nathan says three. Oh, no. Do it. Three cards. Oh, no. Do them one at a time. No, if it's... If it's uh, okay, so... Yeah, if, you can always choose to fail and just not flip over any. And just super Aww. fail. But then you're going to take a wound for sure, probably. For sure, probably. Nathan says, I've never played. Don't listen to me. No, listen to Nathan. <laughs> Make it risky. We're in this for risk. This is the seventh continent. We're here to like... Why did I have to get this one right out of the gate? We're here to light fires and kick tires. But I don't think there's any tires around. Okay, so final just decision. Three or four cards. Your call. I'm going to do four cards. I, right. I don't like being risky. I don't like being risky. One star. Oh my god. Dun, dun, dun. It was going to be fine. Holy moly. Four stars. What did you do to us? Holy. Everyone, wow. that's not cool at all. <laughs> Good thing you did those extra ones. Well, 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 well. So I uh, totally whew, was able to calm myself. I did some like relaxing meditations as super I went calm. through. And then I get to pick one of these ones here that I want. So forewarned is Four arms. That's the one that will give you a star, a star. after you flip. So right. like you're like, oh crap. You can use this. I kind of really like good. this one right away. We have knowledge is power. Which those are good if you've got multiples. A lucky star one. So this is going to give you a negative two cards on that. But I think and just having the extra success make is nice. seven stars, which is nice. I, there is a camouflage outfit here. We don't want to be sneaky. We're going in Captain Thunderpants style. Just burning everything as we just go. Just machine guns and fire. <laughs> Do we have machine guns? 1902? Oh my 1907? gosh. I didn't realize that nothing bad ever happens on the southern oh. continent. Okay, thank you. Positive I did vibes. not know. Hey, I did not know. It's going to be groovy. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's going to be groovy. So I did that. We're going to get rid of this card here. Now, what did you get? Because you succeeded. So you get something. You're not just like... No, no. Oh, okay, so you do. calm yourself, and I get 003. Shuffle any of the curse cards you mm -hmm. drew back into the action deck. So we didn't have any of those. Uh, but I do get triple zero three, and we're going to pull out... Or, I guess, double zero three. Double O three. 
003. It should have been 007. 003 was never right? as good because 003 died. So did 004, 005, 006. 001 is still alive. I'm not retired. <laughs> what? How does that and work? And then Bond is 007. All right. I got 003 here. Do you want to go ahead and read what my 003 card does while I get the other one? <clears throat> so remember, I'm speaking as her. <laughs> as Mary Kinsley. She remembers these words, whispered by Emily Z, the zoologist from the previous expedition. I only knew a few of the wild animals we have had to face so far, but experience tends to show that when it goes, shh, everything is fine. While when it goes, shh, you may want to get ready to fight. I swear to God, that's what it says. One has long S's and the other one has more eyes. So, you know. And triple zero had never amounted to much. That was a test subject. You got an experience point. Tip. Okay. The continent is home to formidable creatures, so no matter what you like best, fighting or stealth, make sure that you always prepare for the worst during your exploration. So further north, the terrain slopes steadily down to the water. We got ourselves the old crescent there. All right. There's like a totem on this. Like just straight up, there's a totem right there. Oh my gosh, there is a totem like right there. But like there's nothing to interact with it, so I don't know if oh that's... Oh my gosh. Like, see here. legit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if a Kesha's totem can be seen on your train card, and players have five or more cards with the keyword trophy under it. So that was what we would need. We would need trophy items. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Did I discard any trophy items? That's what I want to know. Nope. All right. Good to know. All right. What so do we want to do? I want to look... That one talks crap and bullies the other totems. <laughs> I want to look over here. Because I'm getting such good positive vibes telling me to go to the left. To the left? I'm not going to join you on that. All right. Sea urchins. Those are the most mightiest sea of urchins. all urchins. <laughs> the ground is covered with hundreds of little reddish creatures that look like sea urchins. You will have to tiptoe through the colony if you want to continue this way. Just like... Oh, you're being so nice. You're like not stepping on them. You're like... Doo, 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 Each doo, character doo. involved in the following action may discard any number of cards with the keyword skill from their hand and or inventory... For each card discarded way, you get an automatic success during the results step. So, this is only if I want to go through it, I would go ahead and have to do this action to go forward. Okay. And then, so, then the good thing is you make it through unharmed, and you would discard this, which they're really... I mean, I guess this stays. So, there's always sea urchins here. So, I'm, I'm assuming eventually we're going to find something that goes over here, maybe over here and up there. And uh, when we do so, like... Those sea urchins are always going to have to be the tiptoe through. I don't want to tip tiptoe through sea urchins, so this will be replaced once it's a success here. Oh, that's right. That's right. But, like, this success just says discard it. Yeah. You make it through unharmed, you discard this, and then you replace it with nine. Oh, so you have um, to tiptoe through yeah. the sea urchins on this. Okay. Well, I'm going to... Are gonna... you tiptoeing through sea urchins or not? Well, I, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> When I think Dr. Glory Hog, I think of tiptoeing daintily, yeah, right? I, to, to be fair, actually, she does stomp, and I am very quiet on my feet wow, a lot of times. that is not true for how many times I've scared you around the house. Just because I... <laughs> it's not that I get scared, it's that, that I react extremely well. So I'm like, whoa! You have extreme reaction. Yeah, I'm not like... <laughs> Get the I'm like, no, and I like throw my hands out ready to like box. All right, what do we want to do? that's how you box, like this, I guess. I learned show. this from my cat. You gonna show everybody what, the island? Yeah, show everybody this top part here. Scooby Doo it. That's exactly it. Battle cry. You get the little Scooby Doo thing going on. Our kids Scooby Doo runs. Like she'll run really fast in place. And fatal after paper. she gets scared, and I'm like, you're not making any traction. You're just. She's like. Ah. Fatal paper cut just wants us to Leroy Jenkins through it. <laughs> All right. Well. Do you want to go tiptoeing? Well, that would be a whole separate action. So let's just decide what we want to do next. Because that's a whole different deal. We could go over here and we could look around, or we could do this little map action. What is the map action where you're like scouting around? Mm -hmm. I like knowing what they're called. Doesn't exist. Right here. Yeah, go investigate. Go see or investigate. So we could investigate this little area over here, or we could go ahead and, and spot, spot or observe what's over, over here, there. which it does look like there's like something over here. Remember, we have to move to that tile if we want to do that thing. I know. I think I'm going to move over there, though. Do it. Do you want to come with me? Well, first you would move. Do you want to come with me? And then, Well, then I can move for free. Right. So it's better just to have you move. So you have to I need to just one. flip over one card here. Yep. And I can choose... It's geologist. Like That's a fish scientist. <laughs> it 
it is. It's you may card. take one additional 200 card or two additional 300 cards the active player chooses, even if the action was a failure. Discard this. Hmm. So that's going to give you some bonuses. All right. Well, I'll hold on to it for now. All right. So now I will. Now I'll be the active player, and I'll move up, and I can move up for free because I'm moving up to you, which is what. Were you just protecting yourself? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, they don't paper cuts, kid. Naruto runs. Oh. But <laughs> Ours said that in the shower one time, and we called her on it. She got really mad about it. Wow, you're not supposed to tell the internet that. Oh. <laughs> she There's was nothing like the walking around being like, "What are you doing? Are you just Naruto running around?" Yeah, <laughs> it's fair. It happens. What's happening here? So the only reason why I had you move first is because it takes a card for you to discard to move, and then I can move to you for free. Okay. And vice versa. Remember, that's like our special ability for our characters. Either way, we if move. we have a combined thing, if we do it together, oh, but the success would be uh, one. Never mind. Yeah. Anyway, so, so don't be a noob. I think that you would like to spot. I think I would like to spot. I, think. I would like to spot with you. We can double eye it. Don't spot with me. Six eyes are better than it's one. It's rude. <laughs> it's going to be six eyes. Because I'm bringing like, my glasses. I'm over here looking, and then you're like, hold on, hold on, let me look, let me look. No, it's like this. You look, and then I have like my head on top of your head, and I'm looking up <laughs> higher. So that way we're covering the full realm of terrain to look. Wow. This one for me like a super dark curse that's just like, like Benny Hill style. <laughs> That's all D and D wow. right there. All D and D starts off like this crazy noir that ends up just being this crazy oh, running okay. around. Okay, so there's some stuff happening here. We got an eleven. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it says here if there is a little icon card under the satchel journal card, which there is, then you may apply the following effect. Instead of revealing this, you may return it and place and, and place in place of it a card whose number is equal to eleven plus. Whatever number. number it is from the adventure deck. So let's I think that. let's do that. So that would be 19. So yeah, we, so we don't reveal it. So look for 19 and then verify that 19 can get pulled off of this card. The card system seven. for this is so, it's so simply very intricate. It, well, it's so simple yet insanely intricate. And I love that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things do happen in our shower. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> and do you guys have a dungeon? The dungeon degenerates, yeah. Like, it's, we have a serious dungeon, and then it always becomes ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Not intentionally. We always try to really. I always <laughs> pick like this, like like this, like massively macho character that's like super strong and brawly and does all this stuff. He's got like, this dark history, and then he just ends up being like a big clown. All right, so we go ahead and reveal this one instead. So if you want to read that while I put this card sure. back, you sure can. The presence of the totem is a clear sign that a monster roams the area. What the poop? Oh, no. You see a totem and you just automatically get a You're monster? like, there's monsters over here. Wait, is that a totem? I can sense I monsters can, I can nearby. hear monsters. How does that happen? <laughs> it is time to get hunting. No. Walking along the shore, you eventually spot what looks like a slimy, purplish octopus of gigantic proportions. Is that like R-U-S's? Rats of unusual size? O-U-S's? It's O G P. Wait, O G. Yeah, it's an O G. It's a P O G P. Duh. Whose open beak reveals several rows of sharp teeth. So not only does it have a beak, which is already all it needs to like the rip beak flesh, is already scary. But then it's got teeth inside the beak. So I don't know why, but it's like, like if you ever saw a bird with like teeth, like sharp teeth inside of it, that would be extra scary. That would be extra scary. So overall, it's got eight arms already, and it's large overall, and purplish. Overall, I'm I'm not pro beaks. I, I, I'm not a fan of beaks. I'm not a fan of beaks with to with teeth inside. It's a double. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. You don't need that much tearing. You've already got tearing and crushing plus more crushing and slicing. Oh, that's too much. Nathan says totem crafting monsters. Holy poop! This, this is... totem was made by a monster. I can tell. All right. So it says you may take one of the following actions. So we can fight it. So we can either do like a melee or we can do like a, a range, a, a hunt, okay. if you will. And then we either slay the disgusting creature, or after being bitten repeatedly, you run away. Oh. So that's our options there. Now, we don't have to, but there's just a big old... Battle Cry says it just wants a hug. Why I'm didn't he even come that. looking over here? This is not cool. This is exactly why you don't go looking in places that you shouldn't be looking. Think, think about it. You're just, like, cruising along, and you're like, what's that on the beach? It's like... It's Kevin. Oh, hi, Kevin. <laughs> just Kevin's very angry. All right. Kevin's got low blood sugar, and so he's just acting out. He's acting a fool. This is a trophy, though. 
And we do yes. need things that have trophy on them. It's a trophy, and then what is it? How many points? 20 points. I don't know what those points it's are for. It's a 20-point trophy, but it is a trophy. So we do need this. Well, we want that. We don't need it. We could find other ones that are easier, maybe. <laughs> maybe we could find, like, a rat trophy. It's too bad that we don't have a ranged thing, but a ranged thing would be 10 successes? Holy cowbells, like... Yeah, we literally have nothing. So plus five and eight. So Can if you we think just about run it, away? Run away. If we flipped away. over five cards, we're destined to probably not hit eight. So we like I would think we need like some type of equipment first. We are like no equipment right now. Nothing. And that's true. We should probably get some equipment. <laughs> and come back for him. Yeah. <laughs> we just spied him over there. It's fine. It's fine. He's fine. He's doing fine. He's in the water ish. He's an octopus. So as long as we don't go on the beach, we're fine. <laughs> Like, just don't go in the water. Yeah, Kevin like, might... Like my shirt says, the water's not safe. Don't go in the water. Kevin might be a little hangry, but the totem is still t totally chill. It's not the totem's yeah. fault no. that Kevin is angry. It's not. It actually, you know what? It's probably because Kevin has such negative energy, he's drawn to the positive energy of that totem. <laughs> Opposites right. attract. All right. So I would like to not talk with Kevin. Okay. I would like to explore upwards. How do you feel about that? Would you like to join me in my exploration of the uppers, this area here? Sure, let's do it. All right, so you're joining me. So we do have to flip over one card. As the active player, I decide if I want this or if you want this. I'll take this one because it says choose a card in the discard pile and add it to your hand. Discard this. So this is one that lets you just straight up swap. Okay. Now, we didn't need any successes. So can we please reveal 18? Okay. I should, have, I should have totally been getting here. that while you were doing that. You could have been, but that's okay. Bum, bum, bum. Like you, like I could go get like this stealth outfit, but like it doesn't actually. I mean, it would help technically. Here we would have to draw less cards, but I don't know why you want to draw less cards if you need ten successes. That seems like bad. Yeah. It seems real bad. It does seem really bad. <laughs> we'll draw zero cards and need ten successes. You have reached the northern end of the island. You have no idea how much time it would take you to reach an area with more abundant resources. But one thing is certain. If you stay on this barren slab of rock, you are bound to starve. So let's not stay on the barren slab of rock. The many reefs that surround this island would surely wreck any craft trying to approach or leave. However, you might be able to swim through them. The sea is calm now, but it is not time to be reckless. So here we would all have to be on this right. in order to, to do, do it. We all have to do it. That seems, Look I mean, we could, dis we could discover something. I'm just but... saying that this island is full of lots of crappy peril. I am... So far, I am not happy with any of this island. <laughs> you want to peace out? I think so. I think so. So let me move. I guess we're just going to have to tiptoe through some sea urchins. I don't know why we didn't tiptoe in the beginning, but we should have. Are you serious right now? <laughs> this is how you're going to be, Mary? All right, so I'm going to go down. So that way, I have to flip over a card to do that. All right. And I would get to add it, which this one is woven cord. So we can cause a fire. Here. So what I'm going to do is since we're here in this location that actually has access to flint, some, some flint. I'm going to go ahead and, and discard just one card in order to actually build this. You're building a fire? Yeah. Look, there's some bamboo armor. That might be useful. It doesn't give you successes, though, but it does prevent you from getting injured or poisoned, so that could be good. Bamboo armor. What was the other one? It was like, if you had a camouflage outfit with the bamboo armor, that would just... You'd look sweet. That'd be some sick island gear. That's all I'm saying. But we can only make one fire. Can we just make a fire on the sea urchins? Just like, <laughs> and just throw fire at them? I feel like that's how I would go down. No, we're supposed to be tiptoeing over the sea urchins. Molten cocktail! You all of a sudden want to set everything on fire. <laughs> because early on we decided that we were going to set lots of fires. Oh, that's right. That's right. We were going right. to burn our way through the campaign. So do you want to be an active player? Because I've been making poor choices. Do you want to tiptoe? All right, I guess I will tiptoe on over. <laughs> you fool. Now, this, I'm going to have to draw at least one card, and I'm going right. to need two successes. I can totally overdo it. You're about 50 With 50. four cards. Usually, well, usually <laughs> to get two successes, right, you're about 50 50 if you, have, if you flip out two cards. So I would do at least three to just increase our chances. And then hopefully you don't mess up and get Hopefully poisoned. I didn't step on any sea urchins. So yeah. sea urchins spit a lot, but it is not flammable. That's important knowledge. I mean. Oh. So they'd just be spitting out the fire? They'd just be like, like their buddy would be on fire and they'd be like. So far it's not looking very good. Okay. Death, isn't it? That's fine. We have half of one. Oh gosh, oh gosh. 
Oh, one and a, and okay. a quarter. Okay, well. You have that card, well, though. Well, I do have this forewarned as four-armed card here. You can use it so to make it so. So I think I'm going to use this uh, during the result step I am involved in in order to apply the following effect. I can give myself an extra star. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Sweet. And you do get to take one of those. You should probably pick up that paddle, I think, right? Or, yeah, because I have a fire making already. That would have been really bad, though. I would have been, like, not great at all with well, these sea you would have gotten maybe, like, a little bit of a... It was a little spiky in my foot. Yeah. A little spike foot. So we need card nine. Okay. Um, let me decide on which one I want to take. Here, you take a look at these and tell me which one is probably going to be better for us. And I'll... Paddle, because it's going to help you with anything that's going to have to deal with sailing plus digging, apparently. We can dig with sailing this Sailing and digging. Oh, that makes sense. It's a digging paddle. Well, it's like and one of those also Islander paddles. hit anybody over the head with it. I mean... You can't, though. It doesn't let you do that. Oh. So. <laughs> but I'm thinking paddle because I already have fire, and, like, this is just another fire Nathan says fit. I should have drawn two and a half cards, which would have been smart. I mean, why not two and a half cards? Fair. <laughs> we have nine. So, right here, the ground is totally barren here. In fact, the only vegetation oh. among your surroundings are clumps of red seaweed clinging to the rocks. Plumes of Yummy. yellowish smoke spurt from the ground from time to time, swirling around a dead seagull. Ow. That guy. Oh, it's a dead seagull? Yeah, he's a dead seagull. So then just... Ah. He's... Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, but we do have some other options that are open here, and we got some more fog. I feel like you should go play around in the steamy stuff. That's probably fine. Oh, really? You think yeah. that's probably okay? <laughs> we have some areas, some little fog, a little foggy fogs over here. I only have one card in hand, so is it cool if I move? Yeah. All right, so I'll spend the one to move. <laughs> Swiss Army Paddle. That comes later when we start combining items, Fatal Paper Cut, so... When you combine items, you can have a Swiss Army anything you want. <laughs> this will help us as leadership get rid of tired or frightened status. All right. Cool, cool. You moved over. I'm going to follow. Full freezies. And the reason why we're following for free is on our character cards here, we have a negative one card here, which lets us move. If there's an explorer or fire figure. Right. So I could just drop a fire and be like, come to the fire. And you're like, cool, bonfire. <laughs> All right, what do you want to do? We could, like, mess around. Like, there's a bunch of that red seaweed up here we could go mess around with. And show everybody. Sure. The new, the new area. So we can go look at some seaweed. There is... Some... There's also hidden numbers on these cards sometimes. Yeah. So we can go look at some seaweed. We can go explore all these steamy vents, which I'm, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of bad. We can, of we course... Can go down look, or over, right, look down or, or over. Left. What are you thinking? Well, we've been super successful with just looking around, let me tell you. It hasn't been the worst. I mean, if we look around, how bad could it be? I mean, we probably pulled all the bad cards already, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's do you probably wanna, What fine. do you want to look at? You wanna, I don't wanna, do you want to look at the steam? I don't see how that's going to be good for us at all. There's already a dead seagull You're there. You're like, there's something over here. You put your eye directly it's, to it, and then... Psh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably steam not a good eyeball, idea. Like a wrinkly grape. We could go. I believe they call that a raisin. Wow. <laughs> we can go over here and look, I guess. Do you want to do it together? Same time? Are you asking me to go over there and inspect some something mm -hmm. weird on the ground with you? Yeah, you want to? <laughs> sure, I guess. All right. We'll have you be an active person. So you've got the knowledge is power card. Well, we only had to flip over one with no success. Okay, so I get to take this. Let's see here. I can get more experience. If you do the whatever's mm -hmm. on But this it. is my limit here as far as, like, the blue cards I can have in my yeah. hand. That's true. That is true. Oh, right. and then I need 34. Let's see what 34 is. I would like to take a look at it, please. I want to see what's up with all this red seaweed. What are you trying to say? I'm pro seaweed. You're pro seaweed? Seaweed is delicious. Overall, I'm, I am pro seaweed as well. Oh, Bright red seaweed is clinging tightly to the rock. Perhaps... It is edible. I hope you put some in your mouth. <laughs> you tear a piece of seaweed and give it a taste. Not as me. soon That's as your us. tongue starts to tingle, you spit it out immediately. However, its flexible and strong stem might be prove useful. Immediately after this is revealed, take 29 from the adventure deck if available. Hmm. 
like you do, which is some red seaweed. So the stem of this red seaweed is both flexible and strong. It could easily be crafted into something nice. Nice into cordage. some nice cordage or as a component in other equipment here. Nice cordage. That's a good name for a band. <laughs> that is a good name for a band. Nice cordage, bro. I can't like seaweed. I die in Waterworld. Oh, no. Kabuki kid, no. <laughs> seaweed is so good. Maybe you haven't found the right seaweed yet. <laughs> you haven't found the right seaweed for you. All right, focus up. Hi, Luke. How are you doing? We've got some seaweed. So now we can use seaweed as cord. And Sweet. when seaweed can be seen on your terrain card, you have the vine resource. So anywhere we see the, the vine red seaweed. or the vine. Just well, the divine vine. vine. We'll call it the divine vine. And that is just botany. That is not a trophy. No, that does it not is help not us, a trophy. Does that help us fight Kevin? Can we just throw a bunch of like like corded up red seaweed Stop at him? And then hungry, while he's doing Kevin. this, no, he does this, right? And he's just like, oh, oh no. And he gets all twisted up. That would be the Scooby way of doing this. <laughs> Isn't that what we're playing? Scooby Doo Adventures? Yeah, the Scooby Doo Adventures of this. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what are you thinking? Uh, I think we have it to go stays. ahead. It's a gold border. Oh, apologies. <laughs> it. it stays. It's permanent. Hmm. I think. Which way do we want to go? Do we want to go down this way or this way? No, oh, take a peek. Go for it. I'll let you do it on your own. You, oh, thank you. Oh, so thank well. you. That's so nice of you. That's so nice of you. We're going to go ahead and look over here. Oh, God. Why? Lunch. Oh, that's good. A plump seagull is hopping around just a few yards from you. You are a vegetarian. Just ignore it. If you are a vegetarian, just ignore it. And this here, if we can pull one card, and if we get two successes, we banish this, and we get a zero one. But you have to pull at least one card. Yeah. Or we can just discard this and, like, go on our merry way. Would you like to eat the Yeah, you can only draw bird one. Or no? it's, so it's locked. You can only draw one card unless you've got something in your hand that changes yeah. that. So one to get two successes, that's pretty unlikely. Which I don't have anything. But I guess worst case is it just flies away and you discard it. So it's not like it's the end of the world. I don't have anything to help. And plus I'm looking for wood for my paddle here. To make my paddle. So you want to just go for it and try it? You spend a For card. For one card and one success. So we would have to get like. One card for two successes. Oh gosh. No. No. Okay. I don't think so. I, I don't think asking. so. So did you get the extreme version? No. This is just the basic version of the mind. Oh yeah. That's right. The new extreme version is coming out of that. I totally forgot about that. Okay. So let's see here. We get rid of this one here. And we're going to pull 15. Mine is a lot of fun. Pull 15. Don't do it. Dun, dun, dun. 15. The terrain is split in two by a small bay. Son of a... Is it Old Bay? The waves break and crash loudly against the jagged rocks. Getting to the other side is not going to be an easy task. So it's going to take three cards and get one success? Well, that's yeah, probably fine. Three cards fine. and one success. I'll do that one. <laughs> Would you like to join me? <laughs> Sure, why not? Let's do it. All right, we got boom. Boom, hey, we got it. It's, we're so successful. All right, so you're at your hand limit, too. I am. We can get some pan pipes, that's good. I mean, in case we want to, like, In case we want to, like, lure the seagulls or play a little tune for somebody. Maybe that's how we lure the beast asleep. Here's some snowshoes, too. I mean, we could use, is it, I guess there's snow here. I guess, I mean, it's in Antarctica, right? Um, and the other one is when a bald character returns to tired of fighting state. Uh, so this is Nerves of Steel. It does the same thing as my leadership does, looks like, or very close to it. Um, I think, what do you think, snowshoes? What do you think we're going to do next? Do you think we're going to do some music stuff next or some snowshoes next? How do you feel? Do you feel musical, everyone, or do you feel snowy? Let's, let's take a quick vote in chat here. What do we need? Do we need sto snowshoes or panpipes? Yeah, let us know. I'll put them over here for right now. We'll keep continuing on. Okay. 17, a 30-foot-long submarine is hanging from two cranes, keeping it above the surface of the water. There is not a soul in sight. That's a big submarine. All right, I'm going to move so all this over a little one. bit. Sure. Come on, people. We need to know. We going with music? Okay, we've got mm -hmm. one for music. Or we go snowshoes. Are we going to be like... Dancing around, or are we going to be singing? I don't know. There is more options with the panpipes. 
as far as because it's for music, it's for the fire, it's for the mind. In case you're just like all t just stressed out, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, for, for play music, it's think, compose myself. So that could be good. And there's also the fire one. Oh, Kabuki Kid says, I'm saying nothing because I know this part. Oh. Make fire. So I guess we do pan pipes. Because we got a music. So we're doing music. So I'm going to put music in my hand. And I could do it. It's going to cost two cards, though, to, to make it. Because there is Red Sea we were at, right? Yeah. Currently. But this is gone now because we replaced it with that. Right? Nope, it stays out there. Oh, I thought we were done with it. Didn't we discard it? Nope. No, it has the little gold thingies. Oh, okay. Oh, but I would automatically end up over there. Is that correct? Is what it says? It says each involved character moves their figure onto it. So we're, did, you were involved too, yep, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. Both were. So we're, we're over there, so that's good. Right. It just marks as like a little bit of a barrier. So whenever you're moving across here, you have to stop right. here in order to move through. So what do we have on this? We have the submarine. Oh, that's a good call. Let's take a look. We've got, we can do some praying, it looks like. Some more exploration. There's a pineapple up there. What? Where's the pineapple? Right there. Oh, oh, that is a little pineapple tree. Okay, and there's like some grave sites I want to go here. to the graves. A little submarine. Why do you want to go to the graves? That's not like... Maybe we'll find some loot. We can grave rob. So we're going to go and steal from... The dead. <laughs> the dead? They don't know any different. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. I would like to go mess with those graves. I mean, pray. Would you like to join me? I'm going to say no. I kind of like those pineapples up there. I eventually want to go up there, I think. But you go ahead and resolve yours first. So. Well, hold, I guess before I do that, I should decide if I want to make this item or not. Because I, I don't have any space left in my, my hand in your anyways. Inventory. Yeah. So do we have any red seaweed around here on this area? We don't, do we? No, it was back at the other area. No, we don't have you anything You should have made here. it before you moved. Well, I didn't get it until after we, we did oh, that. Oh, that's right, that's right. So I just might not be able to do it. I, mean, I guess I can get rid of this leadership one if, if, if it comes down to it. All right, so I'm going to pray. So I was going to take a card. Was that a torch? Torch could be good. Yeah, it gives you some like awesome... Torchiness. Some awesome torchiness. If you want to use it, it gives you like a plus nine. If you, if you have the torch. Well, I am not. To exploration. I didn't go with you. Right, now I'm saying if I wanted to use it. Not you use it. Come on, don't be ridiculous. Are right. you ready? I'm going to take this and get rid of the leadership. Okay. That'll probably be fine. You come across two marked graves, very likely. The crew of the submarine. Fair. The ground here is very rocky, and whoever tried to bury them here appears to have attempted to dig a proper grave before giving up and covering the bodies with stones from the form of in the form of Karens. The Karen. Oh, sorry. No, it's Burry and Karens. Oh, Danny boy. <laughs> the, oh, we have pipes. The pipes, the pipes <laughs> are calling. We're fine. From sub to sub. All right, so you meditate seaside. for a while, pondering the demise mm. of the deceased while hoping to avoid their fate. Immediately after this is revealed, take a I triple six card. Die. And after resolving it, apply the following effect. For so you, I'm just chilling there. I'm just kind of like, I hope I don't die. I <laughs> hope I'm immortal. Here we are. Oh, bound Lord. to be kings. All right, uh, here's your triple six I'll stop card. I'll the Highlander song. All right. Yeah, we're gonna get taken off. We're gonna get like <laughs> from all the ridiculous a stuff. A veil of fog mysteriously forms around the grave. Yeah, there's nothing creepy about some grave it's fog. It's totally just some grave fog. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've ran into grave fog. I'm before. gonna say based off the uh, the picture on here, this card is not good. <laughs> it coalesces into a thin, frail form that points a ghostly finger in your direction. The spirit lets out a harsh, shrill cry before it vanishes and inexplicably disappears. <laughs> But it wasn't like a seagull. It's a little bit different. <laughs> they sound the same, though. <laughs> yeah. So this is a mandatory action I have to do. It's a contemplation one. Um, zero cards, but I have to get a success. If I do it, I'm just like, oh, I just have extreme fatigue. And I, I just saw something. If not, I'm going to get a 103 card, which is, I'm assuming, based off of the times we've seen 103s, that those are not good. It's going to have to be some type of injury. So, man, this would be good if I had some type of meditation card. <gasps> you, uh, why are you here? <laughs> 
Because this would have given me an automatic star if I would have built those pan pipes. And I just no. would have been like, I would have been like. You would have given yourself a little meditation music and you would have been fine. <laughs> just played the little Jurassic Park theme song and be good to go. No, that's not um, what you want to play here while we're hunting No, you just sit there and you're like. Da, 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 no, da, 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 that pretty much da, 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 brings the raptors to you. That's like the raptors. But then we can home. ride on the raptors. No, that's not how that works. And they've got feathers to keep us warm. That's not how that works. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, so would you ever do a stream of where you have fans on the video chat and play the game with them in video chat? No way. Our fans are weirdos. <laughs> you have to be if you're here. <laughs> But no, yeah, we would do that. We've thought of that before. The issue is is technology-wise, right? Because like not everyone's going to have the same lighting and or sound. And as you can tell, even with our expensive sound equipment, sometimes sound is bad. So we always worry about like interviewing or bringing somebody in because a lot of times that sound is just bad. Mm -hmm. And then it's corrupted and then you can't really use it. So especially if you're live, it makes it really tough. It's almost easier to do recording because then you can be like, hey, this sound sucks. We just don't post it. And, you know, not everybody on the other side always has the right sort of not just gear, but know-how of getting into those sort of things. Those programs and stuff sometimes? Yeah. Yeah, but it is something we have thought we've thought about, and Absolutely. we're not against it, and for sure. We've, we've been looking into those sort of things, Luke, so... All right, I'm going to flip two cards. It is in our mind. It is definitely in our mind on that, okay? All right, I'm flipping two. Yes! That's all you needed was the one success? One success. Oh yeah. Did not... Ugh. Man, I'm just really tired and hangry. I'm sure I didn't just see something. When Dr. Glory Hog Luck comes in... So this is a fighting card. For every three cards drawn during the cost setup, no more than three successes. Discard this. This is actually a really good one. This is an aggressiveness skill. Ooh, rudimentary flint is also aggressive. Why Don't am you I so have flint? aggressive? No, I have woven cord. It's just totally different. Oh. This is rudimentary flint. But it does the same thing. So yeah, I will get rid of that one. I guess these snowshoes are technically are in here too. I'll put them over there because we're getting them all confused. But I'll keep this fighting fury. But now I got to get rid of something though. I'm gonna get rid of this remember card. I'm sorry. That's All probably right, so bad. That'll I don't believe help us dig something out later. We need this one anymore. That Spectre is gone. I need to build something from here. The Spectre was just a jerk. Put him over there. And then let's see here. So for each uh, skull card in the discard pile, randomly take two cards from the discard pile and shuffle them back into the action deck. We got one. So two cards? Yep. And, and they shuffle get... them back into the action deck. They stop. Stop. No whammies. No whammies. <laughs> we have no idea what these are. I'm just going to shuffle all this together. I just saw a raft. Well, we're not getting out of here, Gilligan. I just saw a raft at the bottom. It's not good. Don't look at the bottom. You're looking right at the bottom. You can look at my bottom. Don't look at my yeah, bottom. Oh, gosh. <laughs> all right. We're good. Seventh continent. Let's do this. Focus up. Oh, man. I should have come over here because there's wood over there. Oh, there's wood and... Okay, so wait. Hold on. There's I can... wood and stone. I can build, well, that'll help with this. So if I use this, oh, over here. if I was to use this, it would give me a fire and that's a wood. So then I could actually build this torch for just two instead of four cards. But I'd be using this up, but then I would basically be putting out a torch instead, which is way better because it's gonna actually give me successes for stuff where this just helps me build a fire. Does that make sense? You do you. <laughs> All right, so it says, oh, I have to still spend two cards though to actually put that fire figure into play. That kind of stinks. All right. This is a lot to make this torch. Do you think, is it worth it? Uh, Kabuki Kid, that is not a medical alert bracelet. That is not. <laughs> it is for the military. Yeah. You know, I went to Afghanistan and Iraq in 01 and 03. So I have a lot of fallen friends, unfortunately. Um, and I, I usually wear it. It's, I also have a corded bracelet I wear all the time. So sometimes it's metal, sometimes it's corded. But I, I wear it most times, more often than not. Um, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to discard two cards. Okay. So rope and a splint. Those probably aren't those, good. Yeah, we probably don't need those That's at all. Fine. We probably don't need that rope or that splint That's fine. at all. <laughs> I'm going to use up this. Okay, so it's going to give me... So I'm going to actually get to go ahead and put a fire figure into play. So now there's fire here, which is good, I guess. Shh. It's like, should I just put it on your character? No, nope. no. All right, so since I have a fire and then we have access to wood because of the... Oh my god, I'm stealing one of the crosses that they use to mark the grave. Oh, that happens. That's so messed up. I gotta discard two more cards, but this time at least I actually don't have something in my hand. So I'm gonna actually keep this forewarned as forearmed. And now I have this torch in play. God, that was expensive to do still. That was, but I'm hoping it would be be worth it, right? I'm thinking so. I feel like a torch is good. 
The torch has to be good. Exactly, Kabuki Kid. <laughs> so let's see here. What do I want to do? Oh, I was going to go I feel look like a here. medical alert brace is probably also not fun. Well, that's also true. Although, I guess I could, like, the save your life, The only fun bracelets maybe? are friendship bracelets. <laughs> and slap bracelets. Ow. We got those. I love slap bracelets. I keep trying to bring them back, but oh nobody else wants to gosh. join me. Oh, my gosh. They have slap bracelet. You have a slap bracelet watch at one point in time. It was, like, that unicorn one, that Tokaido one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Except, like, I'm allergic to all sorts of crazy metals and cardboard, so that never works out for me. All right, I'm let's see I'm just allergic here. to milk and cats. I'm just allergic to all the things. And outside weeds. I want to look over here. You're allergic to bees, too. Uh, well, stop telling our audience how to murder me, okay? If you want to kill us, <laughs> send us some milk-infused bee pollen. Send us a know, cardboard right? box <laughs> with A cardboard box in filled it. with bees, cats, and that cat has recently drank milk, and then we will just die. <laughs> Instantaneous death. Instantaneous death. <laughs> All right, so I want, I want to look over here. It's one card. It's not the cool kind of milk allergy either. It's not like the I can just take a pill milk allergy. Did you want to it's go? It's like really sick. Did you want to go ahead and look at whatever this is with me? Did you want to are look over at, my head? Are you head? looking at the sub? No, I'm looking over in this direction right here. You're looking up? Yes, I will join you. Okay. Huzzah! Oh, it's a little blowpipe. We can bait it with shower pizza. That's oh, fair. I like that. This is really nice. Oh, this yeah. is really, really good. I want to make this. Yeah, you call those blowgun juice. I just need some bamboo. Bamboo? I don't see bamboo. any. Or right? you can just spend two cards. Or I can just spend two cards. But this is, this is, I want this. But the problem is, remember, at the end of, so either, so you have the option. Because it gives me two successes right here for anything, like so immediate. You, you don't have to do hand size limit to the very, very end. So you can do everything else and then do it. So you might end, end up using one of those cards for right. whatever flips out. Well, let me see what 164 is. Because it's result. Then, so you're going to do the cost, right? And then the result, you're revealing the cards, which you did. You're going to take your skill. Then you're going to discard the ones that you didn't take. And then uh, consequences of the card, and then the hand size limit at the end. I don't want you to shortchange yourself. I really want this blowgun like so bad. Yeah, no, that's legit. I mean, it's two stars. Anytime we do one of those actions, we need it three times. See you later, Fatal Paper Cut. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Can you go pick up some subs? That's fair. That's right. We've been talking a lot about subs. If you could pick up some subs for us, that'd be excellent. I am quite hungry, okay? But no bees. <laughs> Subs without bees. And Battle Cry is going to bait it with shower pizza. <laughs> you just have a box of shower pizza on top of it. And... You just have a piece of pizza oh, hanging from this? a, from a cord this? in the shower, like, like me, a fish hook. Let me open this. And you'd be like, ooh, pizza in the shower. How? <laughs> bees, bees. <laughs> there you go. Then you release the bees. Release the bees. You gaze upon the wild, endless ocean. The surf is rough and choppy, and the salty spray from the waves is enough to tell you that the water is freezing. Um, actually, the ocean isn't endless because we live on a globe, so at some point in time, the water ends. Swimming away will certainly not be easy. On the other hand, if you stay here for more than a few days, you will likely die. So, this is a wow. strong current. It's something that we would both have to do, but it carries you far to the north. Yeah, so this is really like, and that's kind of like what this one was doing, too. It's another one that says, like, we're pretty much... Ba but so, we, we just want, like, sail, no food here. You know, we want to sail. Like, we need to find something to sail Ooh, with. it's seven cards? Yeah. This one's three. This one's better. But then we have to actually technically go back over this way, which is doing that thing again. But that one was a three plus, but we don't actually know that's going to take us anywhere either. Wow. Wow. Well, if well, we could have some sailing stuff. If we could just stuff. have, like, a boat. Or like a craft, like a boat, that who would wants, be awesome. Who wants to sail with me? We can still look at this one, but I do need to get come rid of one of these cards. Away, come sail away. Hey, you have a sail right there, but what is your? But your your paddle does. Your paddle is a sail, but it's only going to give you negative two to the cards. And, yeah. But it makes seven. But it makes sevens. A success, a success, which could be very helpful for flipping over a bunch of cards. Right. It's I want to keep these two here. Probably worth using. Well, why don't you? Uh, I guess you can't build one right I gotta now. I got to go ahead and. Well, I need bamboo and I need wood. Do, do, do. That one's the one that's good, like, if everybody kind of has some. You don't have any knowledge of power, right? No, I don't. Get rid of that one. Just now. kidding, I did. Ha -ha. Oh, no. Why would you do that? You've been tricked. <laughs> Why would you do that? Wow, this is just rough. There's rough like, seas. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> well, it sounds like you need a break. Did you want to try to build something, but you're saying you need bamboo? I say you just... 
burn the two cards at this point. I'm not seeing bamboo. And we can try to murder Kevin over there. Oh my god. How much does it give us though for the blowpipe? It's gonna give us two successes. Which like is... instantaneous successes. It makes but our needs... card drop, but he would need ten for that. Yeah, it's still a lot for Kevin. Why is Kevin so like Strong. terrible? He's yeah. So beefy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, six was the last live concert I went to. <laughs> I haven't what was it? I think I think I went to a concert with the uh sticks with my mom. Let's see here. This fighting fury is a good one though, because for every three cards that are drawn, we get an automatic success, up to three of them. So if we did want to fight him and we just said screw it, we'll do nine cards, we'd already have three with us. Plus nine cards would probably give us the success we needed to. Or well, if we that's said, not too bad. Or if we did six cards, we'd already have two successes, which means the six cards would have to equal six. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could manipulate it a little bit. Plus, I have an extra star here. Why do I feel like uh, we are just already failing at this <laughs> curse? Like, why do I feel like this is not going well? Kabuki Kid, since you've already played this, just give us, like, a, you know, a, yeah, you're doing okay, or, mmm... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's a cur I mean, we're cursed on an island that's like unexplored, except for these subs. All right, I'm gonna go look at this thing here. All right, I will go with you. Okay. And so there's zero 22? cards, zero flip. We just look. That's actually yeah. Why did I come with you? That was easy. You didn't need my help. You needed the help of a strong, scarred up man. Is that the one where like I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go look over here, and it looks easy, and then you're like, I will escort you to that no. submarine. Listen, I have learned from many, many managers that I would say, hey, uh, make sure you look over there, <laughs> like right after you declare you're going to do that thing. So then it seems like it's my idea, and then oh. I level up. Oh, okay. The crane supports the submarine above the water by chains attached to either end. Can we like take some stuff off of it? Each chain runs through a pulley located at the top of the crane, lowering and submerging the submarine. Obviously requires great precision and skill. So this one here is a locked one. We would have to have a one for one. One card, one success here. The chains do not break. The submarine would return back to water. Or we could hear a sudden clang. I mean, not great stuff would happen, I would imagine, here. I say we do it because I have that card that will give us a success. So, like, let me try that. Like, I'm willing to give that a shot. I'm willing to do the push-pull action and go for it and see what we do with this sub. Okay. I'm going to move my little Mary Kingsley down here. I'm going to move these guys sure. up here for now. Are you ready? So, it's so it's locked. One so, it card, has to be one, one card, right? One success. Yeah. Which oh, we got boom. it. Boom. Boom. How? That's how you do it. <laughs> which, this is remember card, which is nice because it lets you go through the discard, but I have the stuff I like. Already in my oh, hands. Battle Cry says we're not even on the scale yet. <laughs> and Kabuki says, with this game, you never know what's going to happen. So it's hard to gauge. Well, I'm going to say up, that's, that's probably not good. All right. So I did the thing. Let's find out what happens that I, I pulled the sub. Like, so what am I doing? I'm dropping into the water. Okay, so, so let me see. What Sorry. do I mean? Uh, 24. The chains do not break. The submarine is back in the water. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, so this terrain card is getting replaced. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. With 24. The submarine is in the water. Now set off quickly as you can. You never know what could happen. We could submarine now. Let's take a little look here. So yeah, it replaces the whole thing and then we have like a little... I'm going to show the camera really quick. Sure. And then I'll give it over to you so you can look. There it is. It's in there. I feel like that's going to work out for us, right? Do we need to go over and murderize Kevin, though? Do you have to actually know how to use a sub to just use one? Or do you just kind of do it? I think you just wing it. You I'm just pretty it. sure you don't need any sort of training in order to operate a sub submarine, you know? You, you want to go for it together? In case it does something? Let's go check out that sub. Because we're just exploring it. We don't use any cards. You want to do it together? Yeah. Come on, we got fire. I stole a cross from a grave. <laughs> let's do this. I'm feeling really just... I feel like I know what's going on. So let's look at 37. So we're going to do some exploring and check it out. <sighs> you know how it is when you're just like all pumped up because you stole something from like a grave. You might have seen a ghost. You saw a giant tentacle thing. There's dead seagulls everywhere. This that are fine. There's other seagulls that are laughing at you. Fine. Everything is going fine. You're cursed by a werewolf or I something. I mean, oh, yeah, good. there's crazy totems that are over here. And Kevin, I mean, he was an absolute delight right Yeah, that there. totem called Kevin, I'm yeah. pretty sure. <laughs> Stepping into the submarine, you see the former occupants apparently took anything of use. 
Ooh. Mm -hmm. Entering the control room, you immediately check the remaining fuel. All of the all you have to do is restart the engine and you'll be able to leave this blasted place. Like forever? We just win the game? <laughs> like peace, we're out. So it has that weird blue flag. You said we add that blue flag, right? If we had any like little coggy things here. We could add that. So we would all need to be present on here. We would have to flip over one card. We have no successes, and then we would get card 21. Hmm. Did we want to do that? And then 21, if we had any of the little cog things, 21 is going to go ahead and do something special for us. But we don't. I don't think we have any. We don't have any. It looks like little gears or cogs or something. Well, yeah. But if we go, we both have to go. Right, right. Well, we're kind of at that point now where we either have to go here or here. We could fight him, of course, or we do the submarine or whatever was down this way. This is like the whole rest of the island that we just didn't even <laughs> check out. Like, we didn't. We totally passed this. We were like, eh, eh. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Hello, Games of Fire. How are you doing? What do you think? We're playing the Seventh Continent Classic Edition today. The Bloody Hunt curse. Bloody Hunt, there's a, and then there's a submarine. I feel like a you know, hunt for Red October. This is fine. <laughs> the Bloody Hunt for Red October. <laughs> Do you want to get on the sub and see what happens? I mean, I guess. That's a yes. That Let's would do be, it. That would be terrible if we got on there and then we were just stranded because we didn't have some gears or something. No, like we get on there and it just takes us home and then it's like and then you we're win. Like, Wee! You win. You successfully get home. You're still cursed and you die, but you did get home. It's fine. As long as you died at home, I guess. It would be better than dying here. All right, so it's both of us. And you said card 21. Can I read it? I want to read We have to flip over a card, though. Which, ooh, is a curse card, so. I'm going to put that curse card in my hand. A stick on the control panel seems to engage the engine. You pull it down, but nothing happens. At a second glance, it seems to take two gear wheels to restart the engine. Mmm. Sneaky. It didn't work. So this is just a temporary event. Part of it. Does it, like, connect to the other one? Yeah. We have to have the little gears. To get out? Yeah. All right, we well, are unable know? to use this without gears. No, it only costs us one curse card. I don't even want that curse card anyways. All right, well, well we that know. was a bust. So the submarine doesn't work, everyone, okay? No, it does work. <laughs> it just needs more gears. Vincent says as long as you die with style, it's okay. And I'm going to have to say I agree with that. You go out with a bang, okay? <laughs> go out giving Kevin a snack over here, right? Like, I feel like this is like a big monumental thing, but I don't really want to flip over like seven cards because you're not going to hit okay. 11 successes for so, sure. So here's the thing. Here's yes, the thing. Yes, please tell me the thing. Kevin obviously needs to go down, I think, at, at some, some point. point. Right. We haven't explored over here. Is there anything we're missing? Because we looked up here. We looked at the graves. Right. We looked. We didn't look over here at the cliffs. Because there's nothing over here. So we didn't look at these cliffs. Well, we don't know if anything's over there, because... Right, I'm just saying we didn't do that action. Cause, well, but we an, didn't oh, do this action. Right, it's we a didn't five card, there. so there'd be a five card here if we'd done it. So if we haven't done this, we haven't done this, and then we could, like, try to do these two things, or that. Yeah. Well, I guess go back over this way, because it seems like the majority of stuff is this way, because there's, like, one, two, three, four things over here, and there's just that up there. You want to do this? That would be cool, but there's no move action on this card. I think you can still just, I think we just do this in order to get across. That's why there's like no move on it. Do that to go back across? Yeah. I don't know. Let's do it. That's uh, so expensive. Is it worth it though? So. Well, it's that or do this, which we need 11 successes for. We have nothing else we can do on this card. If we go back over here, the right. number of cards that we turn over going this way versus like going this way, I'm not, I don't know what. The difference is going to be on that. So we have to flip three cards here. Here yeah. we have to flip at least seven, but we have to hit 11 successes. 
Yeah. How are we going to hit 11? 11 all... successes is so much. So for 11 successes, even if you flipped 11 cards, you're only going to have like a 15% chance of succeeding. We need a boat. Yeah, there was a grave. Like really badly. Like we really badly need a boat. I say we go over here because then we can look at this for free and then decide if we want to try to fight Kevin or, or go north or look at this. Because there's this, 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 and this that we haven't done. And over here, there's just this. That's my thought. And I feel like that... So we have some more successes, like automatic successes. I don't want to try to flip over seven cards and then be like, yeah, we didn't get it. All That's right. a lot. Let's go ahead and do this then. All right. We do it together. We got a success. Oh, we only needed the one? Yep. We needed the one. So we'll say you're the active player. You have three things in your hand though too. The skilled fighter. The following effect applies as long as you have this in hand. So this would give us better... Chance, like it give you an automatic success if we were fighting Kevin, for example. And then this other card I have here, if, we've, if, we, if I use my Fighting Fury, would also give us an automatic success if we did like six cards, would give us two. So with this plus this, I mean, you would have at least... All right, so if we flipped over six cards for Kevin, we'd have one, two, three, four successes for sure if we had this Skilled Fighter, if you took that. There's also a deadfall trap, which is also pretty nice. If you're doing a marksman, it's going to give you, what, three stars? I want all those things. That's also good. That gives you three stars. I can't help with anything, like, marksman-wise, like aiming. But that gives you our hunting. So it gives you a three to hunting. Plus, if you had your blowgun, that's another two. That's five. But we still would need five more to get Kevin for that one. And I can only add one more, which would be six. I still think that it might just be easier to do the fight action where we actually go and like chop him up. Give him the old calamari chop. The calamari chop. But that is nice. I though. really like the death ball trap because it has so many ex it has so many successes on it. Right. You would get double successes for your sevens and then you'd get a regular success. Right, you'd want to build this and this, though, really. Right. Because you need to have 10 to kill Kevin. So that's going to give us 5 to start off with. And then we're going to need to flip over cards also. But you're also going to flip over 3 cards here, potentially. And another, what, 2 cards over there for that one. So that's like 5 cards. You want me to take this one, though? No, either way. Either way, but which one were, was better? Um, this just seems like it's easier, a little bit easier. Because with this, you'd have one, and I could do give two plus three. So I could give us four out of the eight, about half. And then we'd also be flipping five cards. So I would imagine we would hit it. All right. We'll take this one here. So why do you want Kevin dead so much, asked Nathan. Because he's a trophy. He's worth 20 <laughs> points in parentheses. 20 oh, points. Dr. Glory Hog was super accurate. Yeah. Percentages. You know that 38% of all statistics are made up by Dr. Glory Hog on the spot. Yeah. So, Vincent, we went ahead and already looked at the graves, and Dr. Glory Hog looted them for wood. So, well, okay. you know. Listen. No, he looted them for wood, you know, like you do. There was wood available when I Dr. used Glory it. Dr. Glory Hog, using all natural resources as much as you can. Right. <laughs> I used every part of the grave, though. Every part of the grave. That's a 72.4. Four nine chance of success. Exactly. I feel like his calculations are absolutely correct, everyone. I mean, you can't get better calculations right. than that. I'm done with you. Let's go fight Kevin. <laughs> you ready? Let's go fight Kevin. You want to do it? Flip Fine, all yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's fight Kevin. Let's go fight Kevin. Friction fire. I don't think I want that. I didn't even get a chance to try to build anything, Dr. Glory Hog. Well, now we could build, right? Or did you need to build down here? Yeah. I, well, we were right here. Oh, no, that was for the dead fall trap. Never mind. I still need a log or bamboo to build these. Well, right. So you only need, yeah. So we can move there for one, which I did. All right, build your things. No, I don't, it needs a log or a bamboo, and it's just like... We, right, just build it, though. You can still build it by discarding cards. I don't want to discard cards, though. <laughs> Wood can be traded later for sheep, I wish. I don't we, want to discard we cards. We honestly have no choice. Like, we have to either... But neither of these are going to be helpful in the fight. This one will be. Oh, yeah, you don't even need to build that one. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't need to build yeah, those. Yeah, just wait on those. That's what I was saying, Dr. Gloria. Well, we, you've flipped it back and forth so many times. All right, do we want to try to fight Kevin or not? 
That's literally what we came over here for, was for right. Kevin's blood on our hands. We probably should have looked right? at this before we... Probably. Probably. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, Dr. Glory Hog, just rushing everything. If you it's flip fine. over it's things, fine. if you keep changing your mind a whole bunch of times, it gets me confused, and then I'm just taking action. Yeah, Vincent, I haven't been anywhere. I also need my hair cut, so... Are you ready? Let's do this. Sure. So, Kevin, right? So, let's do six cards. Because I can use this card Jack to give us... Jack is looking pretty slim. Pretty right. slim. Hey, you hush a butt. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six cards, which is still way less than this, which we would have had to get ten successes. Um, I'm going to use this card, so we're going to get an automatic two successes. Okay? Your card, you need to play it ahead of time also, if you want to do it. My one success. There you go. Okay, so let's keep these kind of together. All right, so we've got three complete successes right now. And now let's flip. We have to get five more in this. Out of six cards? Mm -hmm. All right. There's, so that's, we had, wait, how many do we have? Two, three. The so odds four, are not stacked in our favor, everyone. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. No problem. We blew past that. Great. Now all of our successes are gone from the deck everyone now we have hey. no more successes for the rest of the game you're the one who asked <laughs> would you get eight successes on a one success needing thing because you got all nervous so we have the bow a raft like we one of us can, these are both remember cards and knowledge is power so i think we've already decided that we suck at those so you slay the creature take two of the uh, zero zero one cards and two of the zero zero three cards and then store this under the satchel we need to do this though too before, sweetie. Right. I'm just going to start collecting these, and you go ahead and do that. Okay. Do you want me just to pick something, then? Yes, because... Well, because either one of us could technically get it. Oh, okay. I'm full until... Oh, no, okay. I guess I do have one open spot. No. I'll take this one. I'm just going to take this one. So the Valiant Hearts shall not fail, because it's going to give us two successes on the results step if we need it. But I'll also take the 101 card, so that could be good or bad. But I'm worried I'll scarred up. Dimitri's not looking hot anyways. He's not worried about it. Yes, her deck is looking slim, but don't talk about it. It's not about how much the deck weighs. All right. Well, well, I mean... All right, what do we get? That's the rest of our successes for the rest of the game. We both got a 0, zero 1. Ew. Ew. We got some crustacean meat. Ew. So much ew. But we can just build it, though. I'm so upset by this. But at least we can just, like, it's just free to build it. Randomly take three cards. Six if you have the fire resource in the discard pile and shuffle them back into the action deck. So that's good. So it's food. Where's our fire at? It's way over there. Well, that's my fire. Where's your fire at? I don't know. But we could, you know, refill our, our thing there. <laughs> right. So if we get to the point where you can make a Gross. fire then it would make sense for us to both like do it and like get like you know 12 cards back into our deck that'd be really good so just and saying. then we both get one of these three cards okay you want to read yours an incident okay. you go ahead an incident from your previous expedition comes to your mind harvey was so excited about the discoveries made during the first two weeks on the continent that he neglected to eat or get enough sleep when the first difficulties came he was the first one to die so what did I learn? Eat and go to sleep. Don't be a don't be a Harvey. <laughs> Surviving in the first hours must be your number one concern. So find hunting and fishing spots and gather the appropriate equipment. Find a comfortable place to rest and turn your experience points into advanced skills. So basically, like, duh, get food. Find a comfortable place to sleep. Duh. <laughs> of course. A memory from your previous expedition comes to mind. Jimmy, the military demolition specialist, kept repeating, "If a stupid rock." Is stopping you. You'll get rid of it faster with dynamite than a pickaxe. Well, yeah, do we have dynamite? Pro tip, sometimes it's wise to postpone oh. an action until you have the appropriate equipment. Duh. Bing. <laughs> that pro tip was killer. You got me. You got me. All right, we got some experience. We're all experienced. I guess all these can go under the ex the satchel because they all have the little book icon. Do you want to just put all your experiences over here? Um, I don't like to take my experience. Sure. And then we can put dead old Kevin over here. 
Your satchel. Right, because he counts. If we get four that more dead kids, Kevin. If we kill four more Kevins, we could essentially win the game. Did anything else happen, or is that it? That was it. Wow, good job. We, we got some meat. We killed Kevin. Again. Yeah. I feel like we should high five or something. Chat should clap for us. I mean, yeah, we killed Kevin. <laughs> Somebody said woo woo, so that counts. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's that's helpful. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. All right. What do you want to do? You got ideas? Well, we can do whatever this is over here. You want to go for it? Three, two, so three I do plus. have a, the paddle. I just need to build it. I would need to build the paddle. But what's the paddle going to give you? Just a negative two. A negative cards? two, and or the sevens become successes. But if we're flipping three cards, and we only need two successes. We're probably okay. Plus, I have access to up to three successes in my hand. All right. Well, let's just do that. So we'll both do it together. We definitely need a fire to cook something with here. We got one. We got two. No problem. Three. Three successes. Three. There we go. Yep. So make sure you pick one of these cards out of here. You got Think, six Sense, and Learn by Doing. So that one's going to make it so you can do something with three less, which would be good for something super massive. It's always so hard because you're like, I want to spend less activity points, right? I want to spend less cards in order to do something. But, I mean, unless you just got a whole bunch of successes sitting around, it's tough. That is tough. Thinking is nice, too, because that lets you look through the action deck and just take a card. Oh, that is good. But then you're also losing that action. The water, okay, so we actually get card 25. I can read that if you want to look over these. Or, of course, sorry, I know I tend to rush, um, but I don't want to freeze to death on this island. <laughs> Let me get 25. Hold on. All right, there you go. What does it say? This was your idea. What? After swimming out a couple of hundred feet, you notice a particularly whirring fin crest above the waterline. Almost immediately, it turns and begins to rush towards you. Sprint back. We both must do this. It's a swim sail action. Two cards, at least two cards to get a two, or two cards to get a four. At least one involved character is injured. Why would you want to do that one? Oh, if one is injured. Okay, so we don't have to worry about getting four successes because nobody's injured right now. We're both healthy. But we do need to get two successes with two cards. I think that's fine because I have some automatic successes in my hand still. Okay. So flip them out. I mean, either way, we're going to have to sprint back to there anyway, okay? Aw, Nathan loved Kevin. Sorry, bro. I apologize. You know what, Nathan? There's, We needed Kevin, and we needed him dead. He wasn't going to come on his own. He wasn't going to come with us Listen, on his own. have you ever eaten a hot dog? That's all Kevin was to me. He was Aww. nothing but a hot dog. Okay? We got one success. We needed two. And we needed two. All right, so I will spend this card. Forewarned is forearmed. Like, I knew a shark was going to come, so, like, I was ready for this inevitability. I'm like, when a shark comes, I'm ready. We also have examined the notes. How about taking a few moments to study the notes that you and your companions took during the previous expedition of the Seventh Continent? It is a locked action, but we could take two 50 cards and keep one and return the other one to the discard. Okay. I can take it. I have space. There you go. So for this one here, we both get a 103 card. I thought 103s were bad. I guess we're going to see. You reach the shore in the nick of time. Hi, Nick. Each character takes a 103 card. All right. Your heart jumps at even the faintest suspicious sound. Anxiety mounts, and the constant danger has you fearing for your life more than ever. These are bad. I'm oh, frightened. I'm frightened, too. Oh, gosh. That was not a good move. <laughs> I am not happy with that. <laughs> Poop. So that was a bust, everyone. Yeah. And our deck is quite slim. I feel like we are not going to be winning. <laughs> but if we die, at least it'll be entertaining. I am very scared. We have I to have lots of anxiety, okay? We have to do something when we get one of these red cards, I thought, though, don't we? Yeah, we have to go ahead and 
Do you want to grab the rule book real quick? Yeah, we have to do it? a total. Because it's like a state thing, and yeah. you end up getting like. However many we have. Ham boned. I know it's not good. I know I don't want those. <laughs> Nobody wants to be frightened, okay? <laughs> Which your character card counts as one red card in your hand already, so that's not going to be good. So there's a state. When a player reveals a state card, if the so the blue cross action is on it, which we don't, I don't think we have. Yeah, it's not on it, so we don't have to do anything then. Then you must immediately discard as many cards. Yeah, so we're okay. Okay, it's only if we have the other one, but we can try to discard this with one like, card by three spending successes. stuff, right? Yeah. But like, it'd almost be worth it for me to do the pan pipes because I could be like, na, 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 and give us at least two stars. You know? Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah. That did not turn out very well. I thought we were going like, to go over there. Get and somewhere? Yeah, I thought we were going to go over there, and it was going to be good business. And we it just turned out to be really crappy business. A little swim and found out there's sharks. So that submarine's looking a little bit better. Right? And we need to find these gears. What are we missing? Well, we haven't been here or here. We didn't look at these steamy things here either. Oh, that's true. All right, we want to head back that way? Yes. Because so this has been all bunk. I if, don't like any of this. If we move one, we can technically move all the way over to yeah. here. Do you want to be the active player? Yes. Then you have the choice if you want to take that knowledge as power card. I am full on those, so no. Okay, so we are there. So do we want to do this one first? Because we can just look. Like, with it should be okay, hopefully. Sure, sure. It'll be fine. Together? Aw, cuttlefish. Together? Cuddle Together? Cuttlefish are the only cephalopods I think are kind of adorable. Together? Sure. Spider bite! I mean, no. <laughs> no. This adventure is not going well. Your calf is itching uncomfortably. Examining it, you notice a nasty red spot. You must have been bitten by a spider. You can only hope it has not laid its eggs under Ew. your skin. Why would it do that? Ew! Only the active player is forced to take the following action, so that I'll do it. Um... All right, so I have to flip over. No cards, um, but I have to get two successes. A little wound seems to heal. The little wound seems to heal nicely. So I'm going to flip over one card, and let's just pray I have that glory magic. <laughs> you do? Well, I got one success, but I need to have two successes. Oh, okay. So I have to probably spend this one, the Valiant Hearts one, but I don't know if that's going to be better or not. No, it actually just says, eggs under your skin? Certainly not possible. Banish this. So I think I'll just banish this. I don't even yeah. know why I flipped a card. That was silly. But I can take this bolus. Into the banished cards. Which the bolus helps with fighting. Um, jeez, I really want to, like, I think I'm going to get rid of this examine the notes card, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Valiant Hearts I want to keep as like an oh crap moment, like because it's two successes. Or either I'm getting rid of this or this, I think. Which that's good. This could potentially be good if After we succeed After all that in... talking, you're not even going to go ahead and keep the pan pi pipes? Like... <laughs> we have... No, I'm saying, like, should I keep them oh, or not? Oh, Vincent says a bit spooky though. A shark and Doc is wearing a Jaws top. Mm -hmm. Dr. Glory Hog, did you go ahead and... Yeah, uh... didn't you see? Forewarned is foreknowledge. <laughs> That's the card I played to get us out of there, so I knew. And Nathan's playing Paladins of the West Kingdom while you watch. Wow. You're like, you're doing some dual gaming right there. I think I'm going to get rid of examine the notes. Okay. Ugh, I don't like any of this. We there need to build stuff, I is think. There's no smoke here, some moss, and even a few bamboo like canes grow in this area. So there's some red, mossy stuff. Look, there's bamboo finally. There's look, bamboo. There's a 14 right there. And there's a little 14 right here. There's like some footsteps in here. There's like some, I don't know, they're like not human footsteps. There's oh, some other footsteps. You know that for sure? Well, that's what it looks like. They look like little thin footsteps. So there's a hidden number 14 in there. Right in the corner here. Mm -hmm. All right. I will look for 14. Okay. Um, while you're doing that, while I'm here, since there's red, since there's uh, the red seaweed and there's stone available, I'm actually going to build this bolus for free because it needs two cards, but it needs 
seaweed and bolus. It's only a one shot. While you're right deal. here? Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's it. I can't carry any more items unless I was to like start combining items. But this is good though. This one at least, look at that. It's a one time use, but you get like a bazillion stars. Oh, wow. So. Where was that when we were fighting Kevin? <laughs> for the 14 card, you frighten a little crab and it scurries into a small hole hidden away among the weeds. Oh, Kevin Jr. Oh, and this is like a replacement one here. Okay, so we can actually check out over there now. And now you actually have that bamboo that you've been crying about. Yeah, I just need this stupid bamboo. That's all I needed. <laughs> oh, yum. Vincent's eating popcorn with chocolate drizzled on top. Have you ever done popcorn with like white truffle oil or, or black truffle oil? And then you like, like a, some salt? Like a, like a, a salt, salt? Yeah, like a garlic salt or like a mixed up salt. So good. That's oh my really gosh. good too. Well, truffle's just really good, period. I just really like truffle. Oh, hey. we had already moved oh, over Glory here. Glory Hog likes truffle. How how convenient. Pigs like truffles. I think we did that out of order. We were supposed to have moved over here first, and no, then we, we were look at the crab. Oh, uh, before I flipped it? Yeah, so go ahead and okay. flip one for moving. All right, um, I'll be the active player, because I can actually take this. Okay. Shovel. So actually, that's not bad. And then I'm going to build my blowgun, because I can build that for free now. Really? I'll, what did it need? It just needed bamboo. But it needs two. And you only have access to one. So you still have to flip over one card. No, you get the one bamboo and it gives you a negative two to your thing oh, here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, dang, I might have messed up something earlier. Let's not pay attention to that. <laughs> and then the other thing is I still need like a log to make this paddle. But that works. Okay. So we can look here for nothing, for no cards. We can... Look over here, or I need to actually put a little thing over here for this. Do, do, do. Mm. A little fog of, of love. No, That's a whole different game. That is not a fog <laughs> of love. That's a whole different game. Or we can look over here. Where would you like to look? We can search over here, and we can look over here. We have to like spend an action to examine over there. Like It'll still cost us. For 12? Like yeah. What are you thinking? Well, I think we should definitely look over here because that's not going to cost us anything to look on there. I could actually build this pan pipes for free too, but I, oh, I don't have a spot to put it though. Before we leave here, I can build these pan pipes for free. Make it your Swiss Army pan pipe things. But like, what is it? Is it a, sta is a stamina one? No, oh, you don't have any other stamina. Right. Ones. So if I put it underneath something, it would just be, I would use it like, so example, if I put it under this one, I'd still only have one action to use either the pan pipes ones or the bolus ones. I really want to find another aggressiveness. To... You couldn't do that shovel, too. Yeah, I could. But then I'd have one action to either use the shovel or the bolus, and then they're both gone. Oh, yeah. So that's not the bolus is not a good one to stack them under. Maybe the torch. Yeah. But then, once again, I kind of want to match them up if I can. What do you have? You have Vigilance. Hi, Aussie Solo Gamer. I'm working whilst I watch. Happy Sunday for you guys, and happy Monday for me. Hi. Yeah, happy Monday. We're playing the Seventh Continent the Classic Edition. Yeah, the Bloody Hunt Curse. And I do not feel like we're doing a very good job. We'll see. <laughs> there is something in there. Following the scampering crab, you notice a gleam at the entrance to the hole. You crouch down and reach into the hole and take an object, which is... A gear. A small metal gear wheel found in the lair of the crab, which is what we need to start up this... Submarine. Now, didn't that thing need, like, does it say it needed two gears for it or something? A gear or a cog, it looks like. It's just one of those things. Yeah, when we looked at the control panel, though. It's right here. Oh, is it still right there? No, there was that one that was like a temporary one. It says, a stick on the control panel seems to engage the engine. You pull it down, but nothing happens. A second glance seems to take two gear wheels to restart the engine. So we're going to need another gear wheel, I think. Oh, no. All right. Well, we found one of them. Are you? We're not able to make a fire, are we? We really need to make a fire. We have like eight cards here. Yeah. That's not good. I mean, we're not going to for sure lose. It's still a thing. I have but... no way to make a fire. Yeah, I don't either. You would think this torch would make a fire, but it does not. Nope, I uh, don't have anything on there. All I have is a blowgun. I am set up and ready to bust someone with a dart, okay? <laughs> You could shoot a fire. That is, fire. All I am, oh, that is all I am ready to do, is I'm ready to shoot something with a dart. Let's just head back over here and get that fire. 
Look oh, at yeah. all this. All right, we should do that. You want to do that? Yes. Together? <laughs> yes. All right, sure. since you only have two items, I'm going to have you be the main person. Okay. And it's a club. I'll take it. Of course you will. Because there's nothing else I can do. That's actually really good, though. Look at that. That's a club. And it would only cost you one card right here because you've got... Oh, no, this is not a bamboo one. Uh, here. If we were the here, it only cost yeah. you one because you've got flint and seaweed. So. so from the few spots you track on the ground, it seems that a small animal was recently here. You hide and wait in silence. Depending on the number of successes, take the corresponding number of cards. Yeah, so we'll get 30, and we'll either get one copy of it, two copies of it, three copies of it. Yeah, and then reveal them. If at least one involved character is bloody, you must discard one of them. Okay, we're not bloody. So, okay, but that's the, that's the hunt action. Which I don't think I have anything for. No, I do. I have a hunt. I have a blowgun. I can use my bolus, which is like three, four, five successes. I have, <coughs> yeah, I have my blowgun here, which does give me two successes. Right. So we can actually, we can. We just, can hunt. Right. We can. Which may be good if we're trying to add cards to our deck. Maybe. So it's two. Like it has to be at least two. Plus we can add automatic successes if we want. So with your two successes that you've got on, if you want to use your blowgun, we're already going to get two successes just right, right away. So we're already going to at least get one 30 card. If we want, and then whatever we get here could potentially get us to the next level. Do you want to just do that? Is, or is it, because my bolus only has a one-shot deal. So hold on one second. I just want to go ahead and talk to uh, our chat here for a second. Yeah. So Aussie Solo Gamer says, this game looks really good, very hard to get over here. I will look out uh, towards my collection. Okay. So this one here, the classic edition, Serious Pulp is just getting ready to release this here. And it is not the Kickstarter version. So it is something that they are introducing into the market because of basically of all the want of this game and like not people not being able to obtain it. So this right. is the classic edition here. It comes in like a slightly smaller looking box, but you still have all of the same content excluding any of like the miniatures and stuff like that and the Kickstarter exclusive content that was with it, okay? But so, he is also in Australia, so it might just be tough to get still because yeah, who knows I if they're know. gonna have it in know. Australia or not. I don't know. Yeah. Buy but games hopefully, of fire. hopefully you'll be able to go ahead and get it, you know, in your collection because they are releasing it. So it should be available to the public. All right. So So for the fire we need a something just to start it. It's gonna be a card. Right, that's fine. But we need to, do we want to do this hunt thing? Do you want to use your, should I use my bolus? It's a one-time use thing, though. But it gives us a bunch of successes. Do you think that's even worth it? It's going to give us, like, five successes. I mean, we're going to we're gonna already be in this range. But then I'll have, I won't be able to actually take any of those 30 cards, depending on what they are. Because, like, my hand is full. We'll be discarding stuff. Or do we want to just try to go for the middle one? Because if you use your yours, they'll give us two to start off with. So we know for sure we'll at least get one success. And then whatever else we flip. Sure. I mean, if you, I feel like we need to refill our cards here. So any way that we can do that is going to be the more successes, the better, hopefully. So you want me to use my bolus then? If we use my bolus, don't use anything. Because it's already going to give me five. But it's like I said, it's a one-time use. We're out there like... <laughs> if you would like to. I mean... Sure. I was hoping to use it for something more like a Kevin or something, but I'll use my bolus. So, I mean, that'll open up and let me build other stuff. So we're going to get five successes, correct? Right. Plus whatever these two cards are. Which is good because we only got one success off of this. Oh, but there's a seven. Yeah, so you would get two successes. So five, six, seven, eight. So we're in this seven plus range. Okay, cool. So we're going to get three of the 30 cards here. Come on, 30 cards. Hopefully it's something good. I hope it's So it says, really reveal good. them. If at least one of all characters is bloody, you must discard one of these cards without the keyword predator. Then it says, choose one of the remaining cards, which re represents the result of your hunt. Return the other cards. So dun, you've got... Dun, 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 dun. So two of the crabs. So this this crab lets you take two O one cards. This one lets you take one O one card. And this one is you gotta kill the little critter, which is a strange cephalopod, which is a predator. 
this is like another fight. I don't think we can afford another fight, honestly. I say we do this one, which is just take two of the, the one cards. Okay, yeah, I think so. So it's just, uh, it's a timed event, so it just happens. So we'll take two of the 01 cards. So you spot a kind of large gray and red crab with short flat pinchers that do not really look like a threat. Yeah, I threw a bolus at it, <laughs> at its head. Like super rough. We are all about killing crustaceans. Okay, so we did. We got more crustacean meat here. We need a fire. Big time. We need a fire. I can put one more out potentially, but that's it. Because like I have a... I don't have um, any more dice for items. Yeah, same here. So we're going to need to run over there for sure. Yeah, I think so. And then this one here is put in its place. Apparently, there is not much more food in this desolate land than you have already found. You realize you had better ration what you have if you want to make it through. And then what does it say at the bottom? Immediately after this is revealed, one involved character may discard two cards from their hand in order to choose one card from the discard pile and add it to their hand. Wow! This turned out like really really well right here is that the corpse of kevin one of them is well i think two of them are and then two are some other crustaceans so i would be discarding the shovel so you want to discard pipes. two of those to go ahead and go through the discards and pick one special one i don't know maybe i don't even know what i'd take out of here though honestly forewarned i really like this one like the forewarned one yeah And then I say we just head straight for this and just refill our stuff with the fire and just like get all of, as many of our cards back as we can. We still though haven't found those other gears. That think one is good too because it doesn't cost you anything. You just get to basically look at the top seven cards, take one, put it into your hand, and then shuffle everything else back in. It's gonna be terrible if the gears are like the other gears are over here. This is not gonna be good. <laughs> I think I'm just going to keep what I have. Did you want to discard your cards? Let's see here. Okay, so should I watch The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings movie tonight? I need help deciding. I think you should start with The Hobbit because The Hobbit came first. I mean, The Hobbit happens before The Lord of the Rings, and you need that first-hand knowledge. <laughs> I kind of wish they wouldn't have made The Hobbit into a trilogy, though. I think it would have been better if it's just two movies, maybe. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, because there's not as much. I mean, a lot happens in The Hobbit, but it is just one book versus Lord of the Rings, which is yeah, like three which books. Yeah, which is huge, yeah, comparatively. Like, Lord of the Rings could have been more than three movies, like, I remember easily. going back and looking at The Hobbit book and being, like, because, you know, I read it a long time ago, and yeah. then going back and looking at the book and going, oh, yeah, it was, like, only this big? Like, the book is not that but big. But there's, like, a ton ton of action that happens in The Hobbit. Oh, yeah. The Hobbit was an amazing book. That's... As long as you can memorize all the different dwarves. The Dorn well, and Orn and Glorn and Florn and Boron and Moron and... I think that's most of Born, them. Gorn, I mean... Yeah, they were all very uniquely named. All right, I don't think I'm going to do that action. I think I'm just going to keep what I have. Okay. So, let's figure out what we are doing here. I'm really sad because I feel like we're getting really close to having our cards extinguished. We need to get over to the fire. And I feel like the other gear is maybe going to be in this area here. I say we go, though, just because... It's going to take us well, five cards to get back here. Two cards here to move. Uh-huh. And then another... Right. Yeah, you're right. Five cards to get over there. It's going to take us five cards, but then if we both do this on the fire, we're going to get six cards, six cards, plus six more cards and six more cards. We're going to get... I mean, who can do that math? 24 <laughs> cards back. So we'll lose five, and we'll get 24 more back in there. It's probably worth it. And then we're going to have to lose another five to go back over. No, three, four to get back over, technically. So we'll lose nine to get 24. I mean, it is adding still in there. I don't know. It's 100% up to you what you think. We can just look like at this how, first. Well, yeah, let's look at that first. All right. So this is actually good to go over there, right? Flip this. We'll take a peek. Relax. The clouds break and the sun bathes you with its warmth while we need this. You deeply enjoy this moment of respite. You may discard this during the result step of an action you're involved in in order to apply the following effect. Either a star or all sevens are stars. That's nice. You get to keep that. But, oh, that's right. We get to have three and three, right? Yeah. Gosh. Progression in this direction. Progression in this direction is hampered by many jets of bo a boiling stream. It seems to have 
it seems, you have to take a steep path to reach the ocean that you can see below. What all do we have on here? It's boiling steam. Not good. More boiling More steam. More boiling steam. We have like a little look-see area over here, and then we have like a little oceany area, which has been super successful for us, everyone. <laughs> there's also, um, there's seaweed on there, and there's stone. So potentially that could help us make stuff if we want to go there. But it does cost two, again, to get over there. Well, if we go to here, and then we can just go from here, like after we investigate this area, and then we can go directly and try to go from there. Because well, it'd be two, and then when we decide we want to go over there, it's another four. two. Yeah, we're still spending four. Overall, though, we're still going to spend less, I think, going this way and figuring out what's over here and then going this way, I think. Okay. So you want to do it? Yeah. I'll go with you, but you get to go ahead and flip that first card. Oh, it's two cards, actually. Well, it's two cards for you, and wait, hold on. Stop for a second. This goes here. So it's two for you, and I can move to you for one less card. So yeah, it's so cost it's technically me one. three. Yeah, so it's going to take us three. And then again, it's going to be two, and then three. It's going to cost three and three to move around in here. So just one of us goes over? Maybe one of us, well. Do we want to separate, finally, and live our own lives? <laughs> The problem is, is like, it's going to cost cars to go over here to dump, but then I'll, I mean, I'll get my items back, potentially. I, I would like to go get some things back in here because this is getting risky. All right, so one of us goes over here and let's go get the items. And then the other one can go search there. So you go that way and I'll go this way. I just have to flip two. Can't actually keep anything, but here's war paint and woven basket. That's right. Oh, and this is in your inventory. This item is part, the item it is part of may contain up to three additional item cards. Wow, and that's a stamina based one, right? Oh, but so what it's doing is you're putting on something that you can just make a super big. A super big long line of stuff. Yeah. Well, this is another one that's fighting or stealth war paint. That would be really cool. Which one? The woven basket? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I could do the, I mean, but we're using cards still to build it. So, like, I could build, like, the shovel and then put the woven basket on it and then have be able to put a whole bunch more stamina stuff underneath it. But, once again, it's, like, the shovel worth it. We only have, like, three cards to turn out. So, like, you're going to have to, this is going to be it. As soon as we go ahead and do that, like, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. I'm not going to keep either one of those. So, I'm going to do this. We have to get one success. Curse the bloody hunt. So you go got a ahead. success? Yep. I'm not gonna keep either one of these. A that's, walking that's stick. That's nice though. That would make it so that it would be a lot cheaper to walk. Negative two? That would be nice. For because all most this. of the walking stuff you don't need any success on. Right. But you're still you have to spend it each time. But it would be nice. But we also don't have any wood anywhere. We haven't run across any wood. So you would actually still be spending two cars in order to do it. So. Alright, let's make this food. <laughs> Let's make this food, because technically, right now, at this point, we basically mix up this deck right here, and this would be, like, basically, it becomes like a death deck for hold us. On, hold on. Okay, so, yeah. If we pull a curse card out of here, that's it. That's the end of the game. Game over, man. Game over. Like, that would just be the end. All right, so I'm going to do both of these. So I'm going to do one action, do another one. So it says, randomly take three cards, six, if you have the fire resource from the discard pile, and shuffle them back to the action deck. So let me get six cards out of there. Hold on. Well, 12 cards. Because I'm remaking a new action deck. Right, right. All right, there you go. So we do have 12 cards in the action deck. And I'll let you do whatever shenanigans you're up to, I guess. And then these are discarded. All Our lifeline is thin. Real thin. No, we just got refreshed. Have you seen the animated Lord of the Rings? Wow. Okay. We did a thing. Like the really old one, Luke? Yes, I have, and no, it was not good. <laughs> I think I saw it. It was like a long, long yeah, time ago. Yeah, the grave crosses have wood on them, Dr. Glory Hog. Oh, that's right. If you need wood. Yeah, if I need wood, I can steal more from the graves. So, okay, well, actually... Before you take your thing, is it okay? I just want to do this and do the walking stick. 
because I can just do it for free. And then it gets right. it out of my hand, too. Okay. Uh, handle your business, I guess. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move. Two cards. A bow. I can technically go ahead and use this. Oh, what you already drew him though. Well, fine. You want to just use that? No, I'll do it whenever I have to get out of here. So bow and a geologist. If you use it though, the advantage is then the next time you walk, you actually can keep something. So I would use that first. Okay. Okay, so you've learned by doing. You've learned how to walk, so you can do so freely. <laughs> Good job. I didn't realize you had that. All right, so you've moved there. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to go look around. I'll help you from afar. No, fire. I'm going to go ahead and look at 35, whatever 35 is. If really I find another away. ridiculous monster in here, I'm going to be angry. I'm going to be like, dang it, Dr. Glory Hog, why aren't you over here? It's not my fault. I didn't even want you to go over there. <laughs> You don't even have a proper walking stick like I do. You find a moss-carpeted hovel where you can get some rest and comfort away from the elements. Da -da -da. Immediately after this is revealed, one involved character may choose one card with the keyword stamina in the discard pile and add it to their hand or shuffle it back into the action deck. You can go ahead and get rid of that one now, right? Or does it stay? Oh, it stays. Start taking a look at those. So those are... These are my stamina ones. Right, and you can either put it into your hand or we can shuffle back into the, the deck as an extra card. It may be cool just to do the learn by doing thing again and then getting another free movement so we have less yeah. cards we're taking from there. That's I think smart. that's what I'm going to do. So right. whenever you're ready to move again, you can at least make it reduced. Because I do have to spend one in order to look at eight. Okay, do you want to spend one? Yep. We gotta find it's the itchiologist. This gear. I'm assuming you do not want to replace one of your cards with the itchiologist. No. Itchiologist. Ify, itchy. Itchiologist. You gaze upon the wild the crazy and the walking ocean. ability. The surf is rough and choppy, and the salty spray from the waves is enough to tell you the water is freezing. Swimming away will certainly not be easy. On the other hand, if you stay here for more than a few days, you will likely die. I feel like we've done that before, and then we just found sharks. Yeah, this one has a little option on it here, though. Well, it's 23 plus whatever we had if we had blue cards that, blue flag cards. It's so like this one as a blue flag card. So this would add plus nine to this one, I believe. Right? We, I think it has to be the little sailing icon uh, here okay. that you have to have on it, sense. which I don't think we have any sailing icons. Oh, I have this one, but it doesn't have a flag on it. That's too bad, because that would make it better, you know. Where the heck are but these But this one is also at? all fails, too, because, like, despite all your efforts, the strong current, it's all fail. You no, know, if you fail, you get that. If you... Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Yeah, if you succeed, you get that. So you get 23 and or whatever that thing is. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Where have we not looked? Like, there's another gear around here, and we should have it. That's steam. Oh, dang it. You're right. Maybe I'll go look over there, I guess. Do you have any items that you can build or anything? Because you've got stone and uh, cord. I can make a club for one card. Do it. I can't because I only have three things that I have here. Oh, you and your fish. <laughs> Star War, plenty of gears there. <laughs> All right, well, what are you up to? All right, so I'm going to use my learn by doing so I can move because there's nothing that I can see there. And I guess I'm going to go investigate 13. Yeah, I guess so. That's like the last thing that I see that I can do there. Well, besides this. If there was a gear here this whole time and the, on the tile we started on, I'd be pretty Oh, my mad. gosh. I didn't even think of that. You might as well just check out. Well, it's either 13 or that one. This one's going to cost you cards to look at it. That one's free to look at. So. All right. Hopefully. Hopefully you don't get burned in the face. I'm, I feel like I'm going to have to repeat this business. 
Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to succeed. All right, you walk towards the dead seagull. When you are just a few feet from it, a gout of steam spurts from the ground and you are ground and severely burns you. This is definitely not your lucky day. What? Yeah, that was dumb. Why'd you Active that? Active player takes 104. We oh, even no. talked about that. We even said... That's why we didn't want to go over there in the first place. Don't look at it because you're going to get steam in your eyeball. You <laughs> why did you look <laughs> at know. it? I don't know. You should have known better. I should have not looked so close. Let me take a look at this one. All right. Superficial burn. Deep cut or fracture bone. Injuries on the seventh continent can be extremely life threatening. You should not have looked at that. Injured. Oh, no. Yep. You're doing the discard thing, too. You are injured. All right. So what do I have to do for the discards? So since we have that blue thing, you'd have to get rid of three cards out of our deck because you've got oh, three red symbols. Man. There goes the this bow. This is not going there well. There goes the raft. No, we could have used we that raft. We need the raft. We don't need no stinking rafts. You just had to look at some steam, didn't you? I tried to warn you. You know what? If we would have just had the raft, maybe this would have been better. Why These sailing you... options would have been hold, better. Hold on a minute. Why don't you hold that meat over that steam, cook the meat, and then eat it, and then get our cards back? What? We can't actually do that, but we should. I was like, where is that option at? That's not an option. I'm, well, I'm saying technically... Although that would have been nice. That would have been nice. You can cook stuff with steam. All right. You've steamed rice. You could probably steam crab meat. I guess I'm going to go over here and look at this thing. Okay, so you just find a card to move. Card to move. Curse card. And a card to looky-loo. And that is Remember, which lets you go through the discard pile and put one of them into your hand. Which do you? How many cards do you have in your hand right now? Just two? Yep. I'm taking right that. Now. That might be good to get that raft out. I think so. If we end up wanting to raft. I don't know. It doesn't cost me anything to do it, so I think I might do that. You stand before a nearly 50-foot high rocky peak. The view from up there must be quite interesting. So I can climb up here and then discard this. If I get my successes, two successes. Otherwise, I mean, I'm going to take an injury, it looks like. I really hope that I'm not wrong and that we don't, in that we can't just use that one gear we found to drive that submarine. Because I feel like at this point, this is something you could have done in the very, very beginning. So I highly doubt you're going to find like an end game piece right here, you know? <laughs> Right? And then this is like a sailing off, which is probably going to take us to a different continent. Battle Cry says it's area. only a flesh wound. It's fine. It's just a flesh wound. This is going to take us somewhere else, right? And then this is going to probably take us somewhere else. So I don't know. And I can't help you climb or anything because I'm way over here. I would have to have two successes for climbing. I am not a very good climber. Well, let's take a look at our discard here. Where was that raft at? Like, is okay. that going to be a good thing to have? I also have a paddle, but the paddle doesn't have a thing on it. Does the raft have a little? Yes, the raft. Now, the raft has a number. The number on it, which is going to be helpful for many, many things. Which will be helpful here and up there. And over there. If we decide we want to do either one of them. Right. Plus, it gives you three, or, well, yeah, three successes, right? So. I'm going to take the raft. I just think we got started too late on this before, because all these things are going to take so much here to make. Well, not really, because if you come over here, You've got the wood, so you don't need to be spending one card to build it over here because we have wood. Same thing with that one, you would spend two cards to build that one. And you would spend no cards to build that one. But you still need to get over to me, to, I think, to do the, uh, the meat. Yeah, no, I'm going to do that. All right. So one card to move, right? Yep, one card. First card. And then three cards with one success to get over. Hopefully it's successful. It is. We are down to two cards, so. Wow. Do you have any? You it happens so fast. You can't take anything into your hand. I'd almost switch this uh, this rudimentary flint with your paddle, which has been absolutely useless for us. Because the raft is going to do the same type of stuff. All right, yeah. Give me that flint. 
All right, so now you're over with me. I would suggest doing the meat crustacean thing. Let's do the meat crustacean thing. All right, so 12 cards, right? 12 cards. Our life is extended just a tiny bit longer. Oh, okay, so Vincent says you need two, and okay. I could give you a hint. Well, two is good to know. I mean, we, we should probably try sailing, I guess. Okay, we're going to try sailing, Vincent, and if that doesn't work out, then we're going to take your hint. <laughs> And we're going to see what's up. Okay. If I make... If I make the raft, it's going to be discarding two cards. Because we don't have any of the vine stuff. Between the club and the raft, it would be three cards. Probably worth that. We just added 12 back in. And then you would have, like, useful things, right, for fighting. I mean, we don't necessarily need the club right away. Yeah, let's do the raft, though. Yeah, I think so. How many for that one? It's going to be two. Plus, I mean, you'll get to keep one of these two cards. So there's your two cards. Which is think or fire-making kit. Of course, now the fire-making kit shows up. <laughs> now that we're on a fire spot and you already have a flint, now we have the fire-making kit. I guess keep the think, though, because it lets you dig through and look. And potentially take a card, so that might be useful, you know? All right. All right, let's go sailing. We also try to get ourselves uninjured, but I don't know if that's worth it or not. So we want to sail? All right, I'll follow you. This is ridiculous. Okay. At least it was free to go up there. All right, Seven so... Seven cards with 11 successes. However... What is this going to do? This is just going to give us three automatic successes. And I can give us plus some, some automatic. Plus sevens will give us automatic successes. And right. we have to turn over at least seven cards. All right, I have seven. You ready? All right. And make sure you tr tick that down because you're using the raft. All right, let's go. There's three right there. Oh, okay. There's another one, so that's four. Five, six, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six here, seven, eight, nine, right? Mm -hmm. And we need to have 11, so I will just do this, which is, you may discard it during the result step of an action you're involved in, so Valiant Hearts shall not fail. Take a 101 card. There you go. And I actually get to keep one of these cards, which is actually nice, which I will take. And then I'll be picking out 48. I keep taking this forewarned one because I'm just like, oh. So a strong car current carries you to the far north. Each character takes a 102 card, unless at least one character, what? This is fine. I think I have to do this now, though, don't I? Go ahead. I'm tired, bro. What? So How gonna, did you get tired? Because I just saved us on this raft that was like going all crazy. What? <laughs> Why are you flipping out cards? Because I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm oh, frightened. No. And I'm previously <laughs> scarred. It happens, okay? Oh no. Oh gosh. All right. Okay, you can, let's finish, each character I guess. takes a 102 card. Oh no. But don't we get the plus? For the thing? Well, hold on. Oh, so each character thing. takes a 102 card, unless okay. at least one of your characters used a card with the keyword craft. Did I? Oh, no, I did. Okay. Craft from their inventory. Return all the cards on the board and in the past. So we return all the cards here in the past. They go back in, okay? So that's right. refresh. Then we put... Card 43 plus whatever the thing is into play. Each player places their figure onto it. So, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 48. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, we got somewhere. So, what does it mean by cards on the board? Does that mean we're getting rid of all this? I think we just sail to a different area. The sandy island seems to be isolated, and wherever you look, you see nothing but the empty, endless ocean. So it says if we, have, if we had 127 or 164. So which card was this? 164, right oh, okay. here. 
that one is. So we, so we got that one. That's correct. Yeah. So we're going to return all of these. Those will go back in. Mm -hmm. And we just end up over here. But it says on the board, all the cards on the board. Is that everything here? I believe so, because we're like in a whole different area now, right? I think so. That would make sense to me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Which, if that's the case, we should probably stop here. We should stop here. Before we've explored anything else. But how here. are we supposed to know? Like, how, how are our viewers going to know what happens? It's literally been two hours. <laughs> we'll have to get our kid. <laughs> we'll have to finish up. Our viewers are going to be so sad. There's only what so much think? we can do. So, viewers, what do you think? Do you think so far our adventure has been successful? I honestly don't feel like we're going to be... <laughs> we have two cards. I mean, it's fine. We are totally not exhausted and injured from this beginning part here. I mean, this is fine. I mean, this I'm tired and frightened, but that's all. No. But I have a club and a, a stick and a torch, so I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before oh you take anything else. Oh, my gosh. That was um, rough. That was rough. I really thought... I feel like you made really bad choices, Dr. Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Says the Steam Witch over here. I, you know, usually these games, like, reward you for, like, finding stuff. Like, you know, and being like, oh, I got to find this. Or, like, the more exploring you do. This one is... Um, you have to do some exploring, but not as much exploring. Yeah, you have to do just yeah. the right exploring. This is a very much a choose-your-own-adventure. Absolutely. Where yeah. you're like, yeah, okay, let's go look at this. Ah, my eye! Or let's go look at this. Ah, sharks! Well, and here's the thing is, is there are several cards for certain numbers. So, like, right. so us going and looking at that dead seagull could have been, there was like other ones in there. So right, like, and that shark, we could have actually found like a small island that had fruit or something instead. Who knows? But instead we, we, don't got, know. we got sharks. We got a shark and <laughs> really bad luck. <laughs> yeah, I think it would and be a good idea though to save it here so that way next time when we start, we're starting off on the new continent. There are some cards in there as well that when you start taking from them, then you get to a gold card, which becomes completely different. Right, which is either going to be much better or much worse, depending on where you're taking them from. Right, right. Yeah, usually I can figure out, like, oh, okay, like, oh, see, yeah, Valkyrie's saying we're just at the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I don't know. We need, like, a way to, like, completely flip all these cards back in then, because yeah, this is... I think this is going to have to be a restart for us. Even though you are able to say we can technically scoop up our cards and there's like these other little cards in here that keep track of right where you're at of what how exhausted your items are and stuff yeah and you can just like take your character cards and scoop up all of your stuff oh, with really them cool. so then your characters are there and there's like a little save spot that you put them into in the box so it's very easy to save the game but i don't know if we're going to make it through the <laughs> through the rest of this so <laughs> i think this game will be a restart for us no, I say we play till we die. The bloody hunt was very bloody. I'd rather die on camera than restart. <laughs> it would be like the 15 minute restart. Be like, all right, now we're going to go ahead and finish up this game. And I we'll be care. like 15 minutes later, we'll be like, and we're done. I hope you all enjoyed the game. <laughs> I don't care. I hope we I hope we die 15 minutes in next time. Okay, so Fatal says, yeah, saving reset stuff for like hunting and whatnot, which is really nice. Okay. And uh, Vincent says, I won't tell you in case you replay. Well, right. that's, well, well, that's very yeah, nice I, of you. Thank you. We might have to replay, but we'll figure it out. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate everyone who hung out with us today and played the game. What else? Do we have anything else I'm we want to talk about? I'm sorry I wasn't able to build those panpipes for you. <laughs> sorry. I tried so hard. I had fun. Did you have fun playing? Yeah, no, I did. I <laughs> Like, I want to keep going, but, you know, like I said, this I is, didn't want to do a five-hour playthrough because it's thousands of hours. Oh, oh, absolutely. This so. game, the three curses, it's going to take you a while to get through them. And then also, this game came with, like, a little insert that shows boxes where they're having, like, expansions with curse expansions. Yeah, where you just get, like, you can buy an, uh, a whole another curse, basically. Right, where you can just buy a whole another curse. I'm not sure what all comes and in the box. And you can play with but... multiple curses, too. You can play with, like, two or three curses. Oh, yeah, like... If you want to really up your game. <laughs> I don't know who those people are, but somebody. Rest in peace, Kevin. That's right. Rest in Hashtag peace, Kevin. In you know peace, what? Kevin. Kevin, you were loved, but really scary. Gone, and but not forgotten, Kevin. You, you helped us in the end by being our trophy. In the end, nothing <laughs> even matters.
<laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. We let do... us know in the comments because if enough people want us to play, keep continuing on to play, we'll, we'll play again. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that is about it. Other than that, we will see all of you next week. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.